afternoon. I don't know where our waymaster went, but he was here a couple seconds ago. So we got a lot of stuff. We'll tell you exactly what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our second qualifier. Uh, we got uh, we got 80 boats here this afternoon. Uh, tomorrow we're pretty much at the same amount of boats. And again, uh, top 30 teams will join us this year's classic where everybody will fish for the first two days. We kind of changed that up. We made an announcement today. So all boats will fish for two days. On the final day, we're going U.S. style. Top 10 boats will fish on Stony, um, and we're hoping to pay out much more than $10,000 in first place. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start bringing them up. If you're here supporting anybody in particular and you need a picture, just uh, stream, sh stream, shout, or holler. We'll make sure we'll slow it down for you. Vita, please announce the next team. Team number 67, TJ Doran and Scott McGuire. All right, come on, guys. We're going to go this as quickly as possible. We want to get these 80 boats through. Once again, it's important that we get these fish back where they belong, and uh, it's with the CSFL Fish Care that's going to make that all happen. Um, so you had a good day today? Yeah, it wasn't bad. We're going to take that bag, put it up here on the side. Looks like you had a really Today's good day. Weight, 1365. Hold that big smallmouth up. We're going to weigh him in for big fish. You want to grab that, sir? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show you a big smallmouth. Currently, it's 325. I think we're going to challenge that right now. We might definitely be taking him up. But look at that size of that smallmouth bass. Yes, we are on Sturgeon, not Simcoe, not Kingston. All right, put him in here nice and slow. And right in there. Let's see what happens. Looking for four pounds. He's going to come in at 4.25. That's putting her two feet to make that official, honey. 4.25. All right. Big lead. round of applause. There's a new leader for you. You must be happy. You're going to tell us how you caught that fish? Uh, just on a jitterbug. Just up here on, uh, on the shoreline here. Uh, we kind of had a little bit of motor trouble, so just fish around here for the most part of the day. All right, so they had motor problems. They stuck around the shoreline, and they actually came on top. They're sitting at 1365. That's going to put them into the first place. They're not in the lunker pool. We're going to ask you to take the seat right up here because you're stuck up here until the number takes your spot. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. There's your leader. We're going to keep him up here on the hot seat, and we're going to bring up the next guy one at a time. Vita, who's on his way up here next? Team number 18, Mike Lafrenier and Derek Lafrenier. Team Lafrenier coming up to the podium. Looks like they got an okay bag of fish. Not the, not the biggest bag that I've seen in the past, but you okay with that? Uh, it's all right. It's all right. All right, Mike, get over here, buddy. We're going to hold the fish up for our camera folks, and uh, we're going to show you a mixed Today bag, small Today's mode. weight, 935. Yeah, Hold up a couple of fish, and we're going to get a picture. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. All the pictures, uh, you can uh, visit our Facebook. They're all posted there. He's going to show you largemouth bass. We're going to start the largemouth bass for second big fish. Actually, this might be big fish, so hold the mic, put him in here, because right now the gentleman before was not in the lunker pool, but they do got $300 going their way, so that's not bad. Next time, you got to put yourself in the lunker pool. All right. Let's give a big round of applause. So Lunker Pool, just so you all know, um, is worth today. I think, I don't know how many boats went in, but you have to go into Lunker Pool in the future. I, and I'm not trying to put you on the spot, <laughs> but right now you're worth like $5,300. You got coming your way right now if everything holds on. Actually, $5,600. But if you were in the Lunker Pool, you would have been a lot closer to $7,000. Can't, can't win them all. <laughs> <laughs> team number all right. 17, Jamie Kennedy and Jason Kennedy. All right, Team Kennedy coming up to the podium. Looks like they also got a good, healthy bag of fish. Uh, again, the challenge, the number to beat right now is 1365. How are you, buddy? Good, you? You had a good day today? Ah, uh, wasn't too bad. Better pre fish, but. 1085. All right, hold the fish up for our folks. And uh, like you said, um, a lot of guys would probably have ha had to have a better pre fish. You're going to find that, unfortunately, sometimes doesn't always work day of tournament, right? So are you okay up there? You're you need a glass of water? You need some water? You get a bottle of water? All right, let's give him a big round of applause. We're going to weigh the guy on the right for big fish. And uh, we're going to try for you in the lunker pool, right? Yeah. That's right. Large mouth, put him in and nice and slowly. Coming in, big large mouth currently is at four. Big large mouth, what are we at, honey? 2.95. All right, we got a zero, and we got we got you got you got a dog applauding you in the background. I know. All right, here we go. There's your big there's your new leader, Vita. Three seventy. All right, give a big round of applause. There's a new leader for largemouth side. So we got a first big fish and a second big fish. Uh, Seventy five percent of the lunker purse goes to the first big fish, um, and then what happens is twenty five goes to the second big fish, but we automatically pay three hundred dollars to the overall big fish, whether you're in the lunker or not. You're Team number 12, that, so. Glenn Chapman and Jerry Hughes. All right, here we go. Glenn Chapman coming up to the podium. He's going to definitely be challenging 1365. Let's see if it's going to be enough to put him over the top. How are you feeling, Glenn? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good, but I don't think so. You don't think so? 13.8. Vita, what do we got? Make it official. 13.85. Let's give takes a big lead. round of applause. You're sitting yourself in first place. Grab yourself a fish and hold it up and maybe we'll weigh a big fish for you. Um, is there anything you want to say before you go? <laughs> 
No, you're in second place, bro. It's, sti job, it's still worth $2,500. So hold on to that, man. And hopefully you're going to be going on that slip. All right, let's give a big round of applause as our leader goes off the stage. And we got a new leader coming up. It looks like Largemouth was choice fish for these boys today. We're going big Largemouth challenge right now. 3.70. We're going 3.65. Not going to quite take it over top. Vita, what's the computer say? Did it give it to him? It's a tie. Oh, it's a tie. So the computer gave it to you. How do you feel about that? Oh, not bad. First yeah. time. First time? <laughs> All right. So, okay, Glenn, you know the deal. You're going to sit up there. You've sat in that seat many times. Uh, we've got some top anglers here, and Glenn's one of those guys, including his partner. And we're going to bring up the next team. Chris, by the way, I sold your car. Team number eight, Chris Totosco and Sean McCall. All right, fishing with Sean McCall. This is Chris Totosco. It's coming up here looking for 1390. Is it going to happen? I don't think so. All right, did you have it in your prefit? Uh, no, we didn't ever. I didn't even collect it. Look at that. 1340, Vita. Make that official. It's a good bag of 1340. fish. 1340. yeah. Third place right now. No. $1,200. It's not going to last. <laughs> Hold the fish up for you, folks. You got something there bigger than three and a half pounds? No? All right, we're going to show you a couple of fish, though. And uh, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris right here in front of you. Uh, it was two weeks ago that his partner, Sean McCall, president of the DTA, uh, we went down and ran a turn for Dave Mercer on uh, Rice Lake, and it was a great venue, raising over $10,000 for a great cause. Chris, anybody want to thank before you go? Just want to thank you guys for putting up a gr great event. Buddy, thank you very much. Chris, let's also give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Your car is up on the top, brother. Okay, so job well done. Keep Team 29, coming. Paulo Felice and Rob Rizzo. So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Rizzuto. you know what? I'm telling you, she go. does that because I know she can do it, so blame her. I, I would be worse. It's okay. No problem. It's okay. So you got the 13 bag in there, 8.95. Yeah, bad day. Bad day. So is there a big fish in there? 8.95. All small. All small. Okay, catch, hold the fish up for our folks. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you something. Uh, for even the folks that are tuning in, I honestly learn more on those tough days than I ever learn on those easy days. It's just one of those things, and, uh, you know, you just learn. Not that you learn not what to do, but you know what didn't work, right? <laughs> what not to do. Who do you want to thank, bro? Uh, you guys and my partner. All right, thank you. Here's your slip. Thank you very much. Give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We'll keep them coming up here one at a time, just so you know the fish are all in fish care, going back to the live release boat, right back to the lake, um, and always in water. Keep them coming up. Team 35, Chris Cole and Scott Holmes, they've already weighed in at 3.25 smallmouth. All right, Chris, you need like 10 pounds to put it over the top, and uh, it looks like you're pretty close. So you got your slip that we gave you a little bit earlier, and we're going to put that in. We're going to come in. Oh, we're going over the top 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the new leaders. Let's give them a big round of applause. Lita, 1360. What are we saying? Let's hold it. we got to make this official. Miscalculator. All right, there's a guy there who's parked a motorcycle, probably in the worst place. If you, I'm sorry, buddy, I love you, We're man. Just move for forward. First, They're gonna come around that corner. I don't want to see anybody hitting it. And you're tied for first, 1385, and they just waited 1385. 1360. Yeah, that's 16. 16. Yeah, and what's weight? What's leading weight right now? 1360. What's leading right now? 1385. Oh, 1385, and they got 16. They got 13 plus three. Yeah, plus the three. Oh, they and then? Okay, we're all having a moment here, folks. Ready? Yeah. Sixteen eighty five, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking over the lead. Let's give a big round of applause. My wife's gonna give me hell at the end of the day, but I don't care. I deserve it. And uh, you know, Glenn, I'm gonna ask you a quick question, bro, because I know uh, when it comes to large rooms, I've seen you do it on so many lakes. And this particular lake can be go either way. You're gonna get guys coming in large mouth, small mouth. I love the fact that you went large mouth. Um, what do you think is gonna take today, large mouth, small mouth? I'm gonna say maybe a bag of small mouth. A bag of small mouth. All right, but does anybody want to thank for you go? Uh, yourself and your wife, uh, great tournament, and my partner. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow. Ronnie goes, big round of applause. Away he goes. We got smallmouth, all smallmouth today, buddy. Uh, one bucket. One bucket, eh? So we got to get in there. All right, so mixed bag for these guys, but we're going to so call it pretty much. So 380 smallmouth is holding for Lunker. What's that, honey? 380 smallmouth is holding for Lunker. So 380 for smallmouth is going to put you in the Lunker size. So you, uh, congratulations. Thank How you. you feeling right now, buddy? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. It was a good, uh, good start to the day. Just looking for that, you know five pounder towards the end of the day that didn't come so we'll get him on scoot god come on so you're five thousand three hundred dollars in the game right now go sit down in that seat you know the deal let's give this guy a big round of applause ladies and gentlemen once again we're going to ask you to please be careful with the guys coming in and out of the trailers uh we just want to make sure that everybody gets in and out vita who's on their way up here next honey there you go all right we're going to weigh him in right now so coming up next 
Mark Combs and Sandra Perone. All right, boys. Team number 24. Now, these guys got a bit of a story. They broke down about 10 o'clock this morning at the furthest point of their lake. They got themselves a good bag of fish. They came back down on trolling motor, happened to hitchhike a ride, get a, get a boat to pull them up, um, and then they fished around here the rest of the day. That is an extremely respectable bag of fish. Ladies and gentlemen, Vita, make that official. 1635. Big round, big round. Ladies and gentlemen, job well done. It's going to put you guys in the second place. How are you feeling right now? Feeling okay, considering the day, right? You know what? It was an incredible day. Hopefully, uh, we got Paul here from Top Gun Marine. We're hoping he's going to take a look at it and get you guys going. You want to hold up a couple of these big fish, and let's see if we got a big fish that we can take over the lead. And uh, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, 1685 is what's leading right now. And uh, I don't know if Chris, I don't know if Scott's going to come up here or not. You think he's going to, he will come up? Do you get superstitious at all? Do you think he's superstitious? Eh? I don't know. You know, these guys always joke about, you know, I'm not going to go up there because once I go up there, we get kicked off. So, all right, come on, guys, pick up a couple of fish. We got to get these fish back in the water and hold them up. Let's give these guys a big round of applause. Job well done. Currently, big smallmouth is at 3.80. The overall big fish is 4. Point. Oh, he got him. Good job, buddy. Okay. Did I jinx you guys? All right, let's get these guys back where they belong. Okay, so real quick, um, you guys were out in your boat, unfortunately. Turn around and look at the camera. Uh, you guys, so you guys were out in the boat, unfortunately. Uh, you had that bit of a breakdown. Hopefully, we're going to get you guys going for tomorrow. Um, so, I get it, you know, this sport, people don't realize how expensive it is. It gets very costly, doesn't it? Very, very costly. I just want to say thank to uh, Rob. He towed us back in today, and I, I think we did all right. Three hours of fishing, really. So, I think you guys did phenomenal. Now, did, did you have some fish to go to that might have changed this and make it a little bit better for you? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's just one of those things we were on our way to a spot, and our engine blew, and then everything changed. Well, let's knock on wood and say it's not blown. So I'm going to say good luck to you guys and uh, job well done. Hopefully next year you guys are going to come back here and beat these guys out. Next year, we've challenged you. We're coming here for two days. We're going to be here on opening weekend. Um, so we're doing back-to-back -back sturgeon next year as part of the Centrals and back-to-back -back Scugog um, and so forth. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, um, not all our drivers are as experienced as we like to think they are, so be careful behind you. And that's not to insult anybody. I love you guys. And uh, so we'll get these guys Team going. Team 27, Steve Jenkins and Craig Cook. All right, Jenkins and Cook coming up here to the poem. Let's see what happens. Look at this guy. How are you, buddy? Good, Andy. How are you? Always a pleasure to see you. You guys got a good day today? Yeah, you know, overall it was a good day on the water. We dropped two good fish that would have helped. Nothing that would have put us in the lead, but they would have helped. 1260, 12 very respectable. Hold the fish up for folks. Is it the right, big largemouth? We can try for that. Currently sitting at 3.90 and 370. Uh, three we'll try them. Put them up. You don't want to go home and think, man, could have had the lead. Nice fish. All right, he's going to hold them up for the camera, and then we'll weigh him for you. <laughs> Hold them good. All right, come on, give a big round of applause, ladies. That's a nice largemouth bass. It looks like all largemouth bass is a choice here today for these guys. All right, he's got a zero on the scale. Put him in there. Let's see what goes down. Three point seven zero three seven zero. Vita. Three six five. What's this telling? Three seven zero. That's a three way tie. All right, <laughs> we don't want a large one. You know what? You guys are all going to have enough money to stop at the Kortha Dairy Ice Cream Store and buy yourself some ice cream. Yeah, some uh, black raspberry, white chocolate, thunder, whatever it is. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded crazy, but let's give a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, they got some really crazy different deals in there. Uh, I found this, uh, I don't know what it was, a cherry with chocolate milk. What a milkshake. All right, Vita, keep coming up Team here, honey. Team 7, George Kufus and Scott Chandler. Georgie Kufus. Oh, Scotty's coming up here today. Let's see if he's got what it takes to take it over the top. You guys have done good here in the past. We've done okay here in the past. Not today, though. So what do you think? Do you think uh, you think our friends here are going to hold the 1675, or you think we're going to see a bigger bag? Uh, we had a tough day, but somebody always Six catches 665. You want to hold the fish up for folks? All right, we'll get rid of those guys. All right, buddy, you want to say thank you very much. Is there anybody you want to thank before you go? Uh, you guys for putting on a good show, uh, Gaining Sports and Liquid Mayhem. All right, buddy, thank you very much, and a very thank you to all our sponsors, because I'll tell you, if it ain't for Berkeley and it ain't for Abu Garcia and Mercury and London, Minn Kota and Hummingbird, it makes us really difficult to come out here, and most of all, without all the support from the people that are here today, thank you very much. Who's up here next? Team number 8A, Derek Richardson and James Reeser. All right, Richardson and Reeser coming up here. Let's see if they got a big bag. Doesn't look like today's going to be the big, big bag, but uh, you had okay, right? Not the big bag, but uh, we got into quite a few smallies. Couldn't get the big ones to bite, but 
That's okay, buddy. You know what? 1070 is still Today's respectable. Weight, Hold the fish up for our camera. Um, you know, the smallmouth all of a sudden turn on, and that bag becomes a lot greater and bigger. So once again, folks, we're going to tell you that back seat there is probably not as comfortable as our seats up here. Grab yourself a seat and make yourself comfortable. Camera to the right. You're on the Internet, and smile. All right, to all our folks that have tuned in, it's 1685 right now, sitting in first place. Anybody you want to say thank you to before you go? Ah, just thanks to my parents who came out for the weigh-in, and my brother, and uh, Mechanics on the Trent fixed my boat this year, and it's running great. Yeah, Mechanics on the Trent, man. That's pretty cool. I'd never, maybe I'll have to go check them out one day. Right They're right here? Yeah, Leo, he's right here. His mechanic shop's right there. He's the best. All right, Leo, you know what? We got a boat that's uh, looking for some help right now. Maybe you might want to get over there and give him a hand. All right, here we go. Vita, who's on his way up here right now? Team 28, Chris Huskelson and Mark Anderson. All right, Chris Huskelson coming up to the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like he's got a good bag of fish. And, uh, Chris, you had a good day today? Uh, it could have been better. We lost a couple of key fish, but uh, happy with this. You know what, bro? Um, that's a very respectable weight. I'm thinking that's third place right now, so something you got to be uh, very happy with. And uh, was it smallmouth or largemouth for you guys? Uh, we were targeting smallmouth. We ended up with an incidental largey in there. Um, so you're making it sound like you didn't. You had that guy was just not where he was supposed to be. Uh, we lucked out on that one, yeah. All right, hold them up. Let's see if we got something big enough to take over the top. Currently, big fish um, on the lunker overall big fish is 3.80, and uh, we do have an overall big fish of 4.25. That's a nice smallmouth, Chris. All right, let's, uh, let's weigh him in. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That is a beautiful smallmouth. Look at the bars in that guy. We'll get him right in. Um, you know, Chris, real quick, um, what kind of water structure do you come off of? Uh, a bit of a sand, sand weed transition. Okay, so not rock. No. You know, uh, most people would think that rock is the place to find smallmouth. Is that not necessarily the truth on this body of water, though, is it? You know what? That's not necessarily true anywhere in the Kawarthas. Um, we've had uh, a lot of gobies come in, and uh, when these fish make their summer pattern, they, they transition out to, to Four fifteen. The sand, and that's where the gobies are. So that's putting you in first place on the lunker side. So good luck to you, buddy. Hopefully that holds on to you. And we got to so – who do you want to thank before you go? Uh, I'd like to thank Shimano, G. Loomis, uh, Power Pro, Jackal Baits, and, of course, the CSFL for putting on a great show. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate all your support. Thank you. All right, boys, let's give them a big round of applause. Away they go. That's putting them in a solid third-place position. It looks like it's a definitely a tough day of fishing. Who's on their way up here next? Team number 16, Daniel Piton and David Emerson. Skull and Skull. I like that name. I'm not going to lie. It sounds like, you know, something American, you know what I mean? And uh, I, I, I definitely, you know, it's just a whole team of you guys, right? And, and it's actually about what I like is because it's about we uh, where, about, you know, sunshine. Six and seventy. Even on days like today, that must keep you cooler, right? Yes. <laughs> that was a pretty like, that's Yeah, it keeps us cool all, all year round. All right, hold the fish up for our folks, and uh, let's give these boys a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. They're all coming in. Chris, how are you feeling, buddy, right now? You're still sitting in first place, and uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm not sure it's going to hold up, but. Well, you know what? They're all top anglers. They all got a shot at this. They've all put their money like everybody else, and they're here thinking, you know what, they got that chance of doing it. So um, the weights are pretty consistent, around 12 pounds, it looks like. And uh, so it's not like we're talking they're two or three pounds behind you. You know, they're a solid four pounds behind you, so that must make you feel a little bit more comfortable, at least the money shot today. <laughs> hey, absolutely. I'll take sitting up here anytime, so. <laughs> All, right, buddy. All right, let's keep it going. Let's give a big round of applause. There's some nice smallmouth bass for you, and uh, they'll get right back where they belong. So, you know, you'll find uh, schools or smallmouth on this body of water, and you can just sit on them and have a real good time um, through the whole day. So it is what it is. Who do you want to thank before you go, Dave? Uh, team School and my partner, Daniel. Who do you want to thank there? Team Skull, Wu Tungsten, and Team Extreme Marine. All right, buddy. Thank you very much, man. Job well done, guys. You guys did pretty good, man. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, we'll keep them coming up here. Vita, who's on their way up here next? Team 54, Mark Hunter and Joe Ford. All right, Joe Ford and Mark Hunter coming up with a solid bag of fish. 1690 is what we need to take him over the top. Mark, how are you feeling right now? Oh, I feel excellent. You know, we had motor problems. We had to uh, just limp in here, but uh, I think we're going to – we had no pump, so the guys were gracious enough to get us a bag right away. All right, so 1295, you got to be happy. Joe, are you happy with that? 1290. I am happy. Uh, you know, I, I'm on vacation today. It was awesome. I got to fish with my buddy. We caught a bunch of fish, had a great time, had some battery problems, but that's, you know, that's fishing. That's boating. It is what it is. I had a great time. Thanks, guys, for coming out. It's been a blast. We'll see you at the next stop. Okay, so real quick, you're, this is not your home lake. You're a guide on Rice Lake. 
and uh, you're fishing here. Do you feel like a fish out of water here, or are you applying the same type of stuff here that you're doing on Rice Lake? Because we know what you can do on Rice Lake. I've actually guided here quite often, several trips. on. Uh, I, I guide all over the Kawartha region. Uh, I go as far east as the Bay of Quinney, as far north as Georgian Bay. I'm kind of everywhere. So if you want a trip, get a hold of me. If you want to set up some great lodging, get a hold of me. But Rice Lake, like Andy said, is my home lake. And uh, I was a little fish out of water today. We had no practice time. So we just, like, I'm on vacation. We went out fishing. It was great. Hey, well, you know what? Uh, thank you very much. You guys want to hold the fish up for our cameras? Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we'll let them go. Still a good weight for today for just a day of fishing. Over 13 pounds of fish. I need glasses. Maybe maybe, maybe those contacts would work, right? No, no, I'm good. All right, so let's give these guys a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Day of fishing, and they had a lot of fun. We'll get these fish back in the water where they belong. So I get largemouth bass is my first choice of fish as well. So thank you very much, Joe. Job well done, and thank you. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Let's give them a big round of applause. Away they go. Team 68, John McDonald and Riley McDonald. Okay, McDonald and McDonald. Let's see father and son team coming up to the podium right now. Let's see if they got what it takes to get them back to the Bass Master Team Championship. You went down two years ago, um, you know, making it through the Team of the Year program that we got going. We're hoping you're going to maybe accomplish that again. You had a lot of time, a lot of good time down there. Yeah, I know. It was a blast. So fun. Whoever gets to go to this year is so lucky, and uh, it'll be good time all right three teams and it might be you buddy hold the fish up for folks you got a big fish in there no all right we're going to show you some big fish smallmouth bass again ladies and gentlemen if you just tuned in it's 1685 was what's in first place 370 on the largemouth 415 is the big lunker 425 is the overall big fish all right so here you go bro anybody want to thank for you go right yeah all my sponsors you guys of course uh my family it's all good thank you all right, buddy, thank you very much. Job well done. All right, let's keep them bringing them up here. Who's on their way up here next? Team number six, David Cummings and Mike Whalen. Mike, you know what, man? I promised your mom you were going to kiss a fish for her today, so I'm hoping you're not going to let her down. Uh, I ain't doing that. You're doing that? They're not big enough for me. Well, you know what? <laughs> I've seen the picture of the one that you were so proud of when you were a young guy, and I think this is bigger than that fish. Are you embarrassed right now? 340. He's giving mom this look right now. Like, oh, my God, you did that to me? So I'm not going to hold that against you, man. But it was pretty small. And you were excited about that, but you were a lot smaller guy. Yeah, yeah. So, so you can hold the fish up for your mom? Oh, no. You don't even show it. Look, look at your nephew there. I didn't think my bags this year were going to get any smaller than that. <laughs> you know, my only because we know what you're capable of doing. Unfortunately, today it did not work for you. Um, what, do you what do you think? Like, what do you think? What do you think is happening here? Like, is it just you maybe not adapting? And that's not putting you down because we all have that same problem. You know, like, um, when you're a top angler, sometimes you know what you've done. You know where the fish should be. You know where they've been, right? And now it's a matter of almost redoing that. That was exactly the problem is that we didn't adapt and we fished water that we normally would have fished and they just weren't there and we uh, we stuck. That's the, pr that's the hardest thing is when to leave or, or not to leave and we chose not to and it was the, the wrong decision and we just didn't get on them so now you find yourself I, and i find this more guys don't leave when it comes to small moths. so were you targeting small moths, or were they after the large moth today uh we were going for whatever was <laughs> whatever was on it just uh we were going for mixed water right rock weed and uh but we were fishing a little deeper than we should have been and then i ha heard from other guys who were coming out of pretty shallow water so uh and we didn't do that but hopefully tomorrow it's going to pan out for you. Let's give these guys a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, top anglers. Who do you want to thank for you go? Uh, my sponsors, you guys, my partner, <laughs> and my mom over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's give a big round of applause and uh, job well done. Let's go over Team. to our leader here right now. All right. How are you feeling right now? Still pretty good. That was Mike Whalen. Just uh, unfortunately did not bring in what uh, he usually brings in, but you got some good anglers behind him. Yeah, still not many guys left. So Team we'll 34, see. Stephen Bates and Scott Fern. All right, Burnham. Stephen Bates, ladies and gentlemen, from the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Enters, and uh, the CUDA boy. How are you, buddy? Not too bad in yourself. I had an opportunity to have dinner with the CUDA folks, and um, they actually have some really nice uh, knife sets. So oh, yeah, they do. Top of the line. Today's weight, so 1060. All right, hold the fish up. You got a big one in there? All right, we'll hold the fish up nevertheless. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not an OAF, OFHA member, it's something that I truly believe that is more important than anything if you live in this province uh, to support people that really do take care of the resource and take care and are a voice for us, for anglers and hunters. So, um, again, it's something you definitely want to do if you don't or if you haven't renewed your membership in years. Uh, I strongly suggest you do so. Um, you can do it at the Spring Fishing Show uh, this Family Day weekend where – Wolf H will be there with new uh, membership drive. You know Team number 30, Linda Bird and Harry Bird. 
Oh, it's Linda coming up to the podium. And ladies, come on, girls. Big round of applause when she comes up. It means it's an all-girl day is what it's all about. Linda Bird coming up. How are you, honey? Oh, great. It was a great morning. Guess who was fishing right beside me this morning? Who was fishing beside you? Richard. Rick Cruzen? Rick Cruzen. Well, he saw me catch the two big fish I caught. Did you feel good about that? Now, Rick won last year, in case you're wondering. And uh, him and his daughter, and they're fishing this year, him yeah. and his daughter again. And you're fishing with your husband. And they have this thing. And I know when she comes up, it's because she had the day, not him. So Today's you weight, had the day. 1635. Good ah. for you, third place. Let's give them a big round of applause. All right. Now, we got a big fish there. Who caught the bringer? I caught all of them. You got <laughs> Linda Bird's going to hold up a big fish no for net. you. No net. Oh, like all BSS style. Yeah. Oh, you have to get down and grab it for me. Thank you very much, honey. You're the best, honey. All right, so grab that big guy. We're going to weigh him in for big fish. Currently big largemouth. All right, one of each. Big smallmouth and big small. Okay, hold up one. I'll hold the big smallmouth for you. All right, let, look at this thing. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Put your hand away. There you go, and I got this one for her. This is hers, too, so I don't know if I should get in the picture, but that's, look at that. Is that not huge? She caught both these fish. All right, we're going to go big smallmouth currently right now. Let's see if he's going to go over the top on the smallmouth. 4.15, 4.110. I don't know if that's going to go over the top. 4.15 ties the lunker. All right, we're going to tie the lunker, and now we're going big largemouth. Big largemouth right now. Let's see if he goes it up and over the top. 4.30. That's definitely big largemouth. Let's give her a big round of applause and a big high five to you. High five. I love you. You know, Linda, I'll tell you, just so you all know, Linda was the uh, first uh, person, first female to become a president of an OBF club here in Ontario, and she did such a good job, and, um, you know, we're really proud of her. She's uh, one of our co-anglers uh, in, our, in our regime of Abu Garcia and Berkeley, so I know they're all proud of you, too, right now, so... I like to thank Berkeley and Polito, Anthony Polito, the Ford and uh, Lindsay, and my husband, because he got all the fish. And you guys, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's give her a big round of applause. Ladies, come on, shake it up for her. Job well done right down this way, honey. And uh, I'll tell you, that was as close. That's two beautiful fish that came in. That was like five, 10 pounds for two fish. Absolutely incredible. Team 38, Jesse Evans and Stuart Evans. Team Evans coming up to the podium. Let's see if it's going to take it up. It's definitely a healthy bag. I don't know if it's 1675, but it's a good bag. Well, it was a fun day, but we didn't get what we wanted. We lost a fish, but it would have helped. But Small mouth, large mouth? Uh, we were going for both. Hold the fish up for folks. Targeted both species of fish. It looks like large mouth. You know, at one time, guys on this body of water, if you wanted to win, it was only and strictly large mouth bass. Like Goose Bay was known it, not just here, but everywhere. It was the home of big fish. You know, we used to fish back in the day when we used to be able to lock through different lakes. Guys would lock regardless of where we were running. You know, we weren't running at the time. I was fishing them, but guys would lock just to come to this bay right here because of its known for ability for big fish. Anybody you want to thank before you go? Uh, just you guys for running a good event and uh, Emerald Isle Marina. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Job well done. We're going to keep bringing them up here. Vita, who's Team on their way up here next? Matt McIntyre and Jeremy Irons. All right, here we go. Let's see if these guys go with a golden flow. It's not Tri Lakes, but does it fish like Tri Lakes? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys got a lot of redemption to happen in three weeks from now. So Tri Lakes, is that going to be your event? Probably not either. <laughs> Ten pounds even. <laughs> I love you guys are so honest, right? All right, so, um, you know, on Trilex, you guys uh, target, is it more smallmouth or largemouth? There's a good smallmouth population there, right? Uh, a bit of both. They're kind of like here, right? Yeah. And being so close, do they fish a lot alike, or do they actually fish different? A lot different, I say, yeah. A lot different. <laughs> a lot different? All right, hold the fish up for folks. Let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You're still up here, buddy. Hey, you're still up here, eh? Linda scared you, HQ eh? the good bag, eh? Yeah, fellow member, Linda and Harry. Job well done, guys. All right, so anybody you want to thank for you go, bro? Uh, just you guys. Thanks very much. No, buddy, thank you very much. All right, away they go. Let's see what happens. Team Vita, 23, on the way up next? Frank Rotundo and Danny Zamet. All right, here we go, Danny Zamet coming up to the podium. Let's see if these guys got – Danny, I've watched you bring in 16, 17, 18-pound bags here. Oh is no. today one of those days? No. No. Well, you know what? It is what it is. 11.15. Is there a big fish in there? No, there isn't. No. Uh, you know what? Did you have any big fish on? Uh, actually, we had a couple. We lost. Yeah. Now, did you guys fish Goose Bay at all? I just Only because I just talked about that. Now, no, Not at all. We're just at the other end of the lake. 
you know, Goose Bay, hold the fish up for folks. You know, Goose Bay, ladies and gentlemen, um, is a stump mine. And it's like finding needles in haystacks and finding one fish here, possibly another fish there. Um, it's not an easy pre-fish, uh, but they're there, all right? And it's just a matter of getting out there and finding them. Okay, let's hold them up. What's that? Hold one fish up. We're good. All right. Big round of applause. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Some nice smallmouth bass. We'll get them back where they belong. Deserve a nice uh, round of applause. So, all right. Anything you want to say before you go? Yeah, I'd like to thank my wife and Frank and my son. <laughs> the internet. There's the internet right there. I'd like to thank my wife, Daniela. She's out of town. And my partner and uh, my son. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. So, well, then we want to thank your son's been working with us all day. And, uh, you know, it's good. We got a whole staff of people. But if you do got boys and girls that need some community service hours and they want to come and help during weigh-in, um, it's not a lot of work. But we can uh, definitely help them out with the community service hours. Vita, who's up here Team next? Team 21, Chris Little and Josh Burke. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's early. 305 is the cut in the first seat. That's a big bag, Chris. Are you, are you excited right now? Absolutely. So you are you how you feeling, bro? Uh, yo, is that for real or what, ladies and gentlemen? That is absolutely incredible. I get awful. Twenty-three oh five. I'm so proud of you guys right now. Tell me they're all largemouth. They are all largemouth. Wow! All right, they are all largemouth bass. Is that absolutely sick? Hold a couple of fish up. You know what, bro? If you're gonna go, oh, had to be today, eh? <laughs> to be today you know if they're gonna go man that's the way to go right for you man absolutely 23 pounds out here i, I don't know if that's ever good but that's when every star aligns and every stump and i want to take a peek at these fish here. Go, go ahead buddy go ahead take a look at them i think everybody wants to take a peek at these fish ladies and gentlemen if you've just tuned in on the internet it's 2305 largemouth bass at its finest look at that absolutely amazing what you want me to hold this one up too no i don't want to do that take rain on their storm. Do you see that? Those are five <laughs> huge fish. Which one's the big one? Which one's the big one? That one? All right, let's weigh him in for big fish. Let's see if he goes over six pounds. Last week, 6.30 on rice. Today on sturgeon, 5.35. I'll bet you they're all close to that, man. Congratulations. To the, that was something to be proud of. You know, I don't even know how to begin. But like, take you know, the lead. So tell me, did you guys travel far for those fish? Uh, we caught one here, one there. So yeah, we, we had about five or six spots we were fishing. So with those fish, did you target? Did you find them in pre-fish, or are these some of them you came across today? Yeah, well, we located some, not that big, but uh, we found largies that were good ones, and uh, we didn't see those, but glad they bit today. Okay, so I don't know if you heard, but obviously next year's schedule, we're coming here back to back uh, opening weekend, so we're expecting to see huge buckets. What do you guys think you can do tomorrow if you're back here again? Uh, I think we probably catch 20 pounds again wow that's pretty confident yeah it was a great day we didn't lose any um nothing came off we net net man was working good i did my part chris did his part everything came together okay i need you guys to sit down because you're going to be up here for a while and i'll be asking you guys a bunch of questions you guys are in chris, i gotta say bye to you buddy i didn't get a chance to say goodbye who do you want to thank buddy uh, i think my partner scott you guys are putting on a good show and uh my wife thank you buddy we appreciate it okay guys seats are yours Oh, my God, absolutely incredible. That is something else. If you just missed that, um, just push rewind, and you can see it on Facebook Live. 23.5 pounds. Vita, that was incredible. They're also holding on to the big fish. If this all lines up for these guys, it's going to be close to $7,000. Vita, please bring up our next contestant. Team number nine, Jim Lacey and TJ Lacey. Are, are, you guys, are, you guys, are you guys the – what's your bag of fish? Oh, <laughs> how are you buddy good how are you that's doing? a tough show to hand behind right yeah that's not even fair <laughs> you know i'll tell you now is that large mouth uh, mixed bag. 60. you know i used to fish against your dad back in the day and uh he, you get a big small mouth okay way a big fishing you know back in the day we fish i used to fish against his dad and believe it or not those were kind of weights we were seeing in just large mouth so we haven't seen that kind of a bag of this body of water in a long time but we got it today, and we're going to go over 4.3 pounds. Definitely, uh, definitely. is that the big smallmouth, Vita? That's the big smallmouth, All right, so that's second big fish, so that's not too bad. Hopefully, get you some ice cream on the way home. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess you can give up some information. Smallmouth, what do you come in on? Pardon? What are you catching with? 
A uh, little bit of everything, top water, senkos, that kind of stuff. All right, hold the fish up for our camera girl. Nicole on the side, my daughter. Guys, are these your guys? Chris, are they yours? Look at them, man. I'm so proud of you guys right now, man. You know what? And the whole world's seen it. How do you not bring it? How can you not be excited about that? You know, I'll tell you, it's something else. And that's a huge smallmouth. Um, and Teach, hold them up for our camera there, buddy. One, two, and three. Oh, you had them. <laughs> there you go. Big smallmouth bass. And one to show you exactly how big that big one is right beside him. So um, I want to say thank you very much, buddy. Anybody you want to thank before you go? Yeah, Ranger, Triton, uh, Evaner, G. Luma, Shimano, all great companies, Under Armour. Uh, yeah. Buddy, thank you very much. Job well done, and this is for you, bro. Away he goes, and uh, away they go, and these guys are up here and all excited. All right, so are you going to give up a little bit of information, you think? A little bit, maybe. What about depth? Is it about depth, you think, or not really? Uh, we caught fish in two feet, and we caught fish in six and seven feet, so... Okay, so two feet, six, seven feet. It might be about the lure. Let's see. Team number three, Dan Risordo and Frank Bertuzzi. I don't know, bro. He's got a big one. This is Dan Risordo, ladies and gentlemen, coming up here next fishing with with uh, <laughs> Mr. Perciuseppi. Oh my God! There's a fish in there that I'm telling you must be Italian. Yeah. <laughs> there's one good one in there, but that's about it. All right, so I'll tell you. That was a pretty good bag, 23 pounds, a huge bag. You've won a few tournaments out here. Um, this is the type of lake you can do it. Largemouth looks like your first choice here today as well, too? Yeah, it was. It started off the other way, but uh, ended green, yep. At what point do you decide it's a green day and not a little? Wow, that's a solid second-place finish so right now, ladies and gentlemen, 19.70. They definitely deserve a big round of applause. You're in for a treat. Get your camera out because we are about to tip the scales. We're going to see possibly six pounds right now, right here. Moorings Marina. Did you all see that? Did you see that sneak? 6.3, 6 point feet to make that official. Is this not absolutely crazy? What a day. If you aren't fishing here today, you are in the wrong spot. That's all I'm telling you. That You got to hold that one fish up. Just hold them up. Buddy, show respect. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause. Look at this guy. Stand back just a little more. I need all the people on the internet right there. That camera. Look at this fish. 6.45 pounds. I'm excited for this guy. <laughs> I can't believe this day, man. You guys rock it, man. I'm looking at these largemouth bass. Look at the size of these fish. Absolutely incredible. Put this guy back. Let's get him back where he belongs. Are you going to tell us what you caught him on? Uh, actually, that was on a frog, believe it or not. Surface bait? Uh, surface bait, yeah. So was it like a huge explosion? Uh, it was like a toilet bowl flushing, yes. Wow. Okay, and was it shallow, deep? Uh, it was shallow under a tree. Wow. All right, so is that going to happen tomorrow again? I don't know. It all depends. It's incredible. But anything you want to say before you go? Yeah, no, I want to thank you guys for putting on a, a great show. You, you, your family, um, Frank, for putting up with me in the boat. Uh, my wife for letting me come out, and, and the guys for coming out. I, I want to congrats those guys. A 23-pound sack today is unbelievable. Well done. It is well done. Thank you very much, and job well done. Let's give him a big round of applause. Fishing with Frank Purchaseppi, weighing in a 6.35-pound largemouth bass. We got 23.05 of ba largemouth bass sitting in first place. Vita, who's up here next? Team number 19, Steve Gorley and John Miller. Again, another nice bag of fish. Now, maybe not 20, but it's a good bag. It's okay. 20. It's, it's a good, and it looks like one. Is this smallmouth you were targeting here today? Yeah. All right, so now that you see all these largemouth coming in, hold that fish up for our folks. It's gonna oh, we lost some water. So now that we, we see all the largemouth big fish, what are you going to do next year, largemouth or smallmouth? Probably still smallmouth. <laughs> You're diehard, eh? Yeah. You know what? That's one thing about these smallmouth guys. Totally diehard. Totally diehard. Once again, folks, we're going to tell you these trailers are active behind you. Please watch the boys and girls, even if they're not your own. Very important that we don't uh, see anybody get hurt here this afternoon. All right, so... Again, Today's a very weight, special thank 55. you. All right, who do you want to thank, bro? Uh, just you guys. Putting on the great Hold the fish up for our camera, and let's give a big, whoa, watch yourself, buddy. Don't go too close. Jackson, get back, get back, buddy. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, it's been one of those days, and, and you, know, I all, you know, I favor the largemouth guys, and not because, you know, <laughs> I love largemouth, man. So is that what you say, or is that what you had to do? Actually, you know what? We're, we, uh, we like brown fish. Um, but in our pre-fish, we did find some largemouth, so 
we decided to go for green fish and it panned out for us. Wow, all right, so at least they're being honest. They did what they had to do to get them to where they are. So let's give these guys a big round of applause. And we're taking a lead on the smallmouth. Beat a big smallmouth right now, currently at 4.50. Congratulations. Do you want to give up the lure, that magic lure that caught that fish? It was actually a tube jig. Just a tube? It was a, a color depth? Uh, it's just like a green. I think it was about seven feet. See, there you go. We're giving you some information. Who do you want to thank? Just you guys again. But thank you very much. We appreciate it. And job, job well done. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Vita, keep bringing them up. Team 22, Danny Valerio and Nicholas Guja. Nicholas Vujo, did she say, who said it right, me or her? Me. Neither one of us? Oh, man, how do you say it? Juga. 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 How do I, but I know your dad. Yes, you do. Her, but only because she said it wrong first, so what there you go. Happened? Is he here today? Uh, no, he's not. Is he watching? Team uh, I don't think so, but he'll be here tomorrow. 1225. Well, buddy, good luck. I used to, believe it or not, I used to DJ with his dad. <laughs> I know, it was like a whole other world. Hold the fish up for us. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, fine anglers. I love it when fishing, they come from my backyard, uh, North York area. So job well done. And he's going to show you a nice, nice smallmouth bass, eh? A lot of colors in them. Job well done. Come on, put your hands together. This is fine young anglers. I think 19, 20 years old. And uh, this is our future, and that's something you need to be proud of, buddy. I hope that it's many big bags ahead of you in the future. So good luck to you. All right, we're going to keep bringing them up here. Team 32, Ryan Wolsey <laughs> and Dustin Shinard. Now, these guys could – is it going to happen? Am I going to put you on the spot? No, not today. Not today. Not today no, no, it didn't happen. All right, so were you – Were you? did you see these guys at all today? No, not at all. We didn't see them once. But we were in shallow. We were – so I don't know. It's Kind of all over today, shallow. Still a very respectable weight. 1670 is very respectable. Now, is that all largemouth in there? Yeah, they're all large. Uh, hold the fish up for folks. And uh, you know what? It's um, This lake has a lot of areas from creeks to bays to stumps to trees that all hold incredible, nice largemouth bass. And as you can see, it is a very, very healthy fishery. So who do you want to thank before you go? Uh, Durham Marine, actually, for helping keep my boat in the water. Durham Marine, all the best to you. Thank you very much. And away he goes. Vita, who's up here next? Team number 10, Paul Levesque and Mike Vick. All right, let's see what these boys got to bring up here. Looks like a good bag of fish. Is it good enough to take them in and put them into position? Dufferin Outdoors Supply. Where is that? In Orangeville. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Really? That's nice. You know, I used to do a lot of brook trout fishing in Orangeville. I don't know. They still have good 10. brook trout up that way? It's excellent. It's excellent. All right, hold the fish up for our folks. And you got a big one in there? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Hold the fish up. Nevertheless, let's, uh, we're going to put them on the end. This is a nice fish, though. you got to be happy with that. Holy smokes. Oh, quite, alive. quite alive, I might add. And I'll tell you, that is a very lively smoke. Dan, that's your job from now on, buddy. <laughs> I'm not going to step in your job. You know, here we go. we got Dan up here right now. All right, let's give a big round of applause, and let's get this guy back in the water where he belongs. Job well done. Anybody you want to thank before you go? Myself. All right. Thank you. Team myself. <laughs> Team me. That's what it's all about. Thank you. That's what you should think. Team right. number five, Chris Capacetti and Mike Miller. This is your steam speed demon of the lake that is now, I think, somewhat retired. Yeah. No, that boat's gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, you know, this is what teachers do during the summer. They fish. Yeah. Well, we try to. Try to? All right. So, but you know, are you impressed right now? You, know, you guys still have a family cottage out here? Yeah, we were out here all week. The bite was... Terrible. Like I was out pre-fishing the nine twenty, and it was. I knew that was impressive, was it not? I, I don't even. I saw them pull them out of live well, and I just went, "Oh my god!" Like and, and, and Gucci's fish was that? Like look at the large both here. And are yours large both or small both? Uh, there's a mix. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. A big one. Did you see any big fish at all, or no? Nope. Didn't see any big fish all week. So uh, they're gonna tell me they didn't practice either, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh my god." One day of practice. Okay, <laughs> hold the fish up for us. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Capuchetti winging his fish here today. Incredible. One day of practice. One day of practice. This is your 10th time out here? 10th day ever on sturgeon, yep. Wow. Okay, so we, we basically said it's not about depth because you caught them shallow, you caught them deep, right? So let me say bye to Chris before he goes. Chris, anybody you want to thank before you go, buddy? Uh, you guys, you do a great job. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Job well done. Now, it wasn't about the depth for these guys. So I'm thinking it must have been about either the color or the bait. Uh, bottom contact baits like jigs and creature baits, tubes. So basically getting it down to where the fish were. 
getting it through the weeds to the getting bottom. In front of the fish, right? That's right. Shaking his head, saying, yeah, that's what it's all about. Team number okay. 11, Greg Elledge and Chris Monk. All right, let's see what goes. Bringing them up here. Now, this is a good bag of fish here, too, boys. Are we going to cap? No, he's shaking his head, saying, it looked good. No, the only thing we caught today was Chris. I had to do a little on-the-water surgery. So. Oh, my goodness. Did it hurt? I think so. You ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Vita, what do we got for weight here, 1305. You know what? So, you know, you people don't realize it, but this sport actually has the most accidents out there. You people don't realize it. If you Google most accident sports, fishing, number one. Hold the fish up for her, folks. Are you going to hold one up? In there. <laughs> okay, we'll let you get off the hook. Is there anything you want to say before you go, Doc? No, just thanks to you guys. Is that your new nickname, Doc? No. <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> you know i'll tell you we had to perform one surgery on one of the guys ice fishing in uh in a shed and he had a hook buried right into his finger and we did the door thing you know how you do the trick you know, and we just <laughs> it all oh, it hurt anyways vita keep them coming up team here, 31 terry monroe and tammy brooks bro you're like you know what you're about maybe 20 teams away from possibly six thousand plus dollars how does that make you feel look at him he's laughing how are you honey Good, good, good. Good day today? Yeah, great day. All right, so we are live right now. We're hoping we got a big bag of fish in here. Ten pounds, not too bad. Yeah, not bad. Is there a big one in there? Uh, No. You had fun today, right? Oh, I had a great Today's time. Today's weight, yep. 925. Hold the fish up for us. All right, let's give her a big round of applause. Come on, ladies, big round of applause. Job well done. We actually have a ladies' night on Scugog this upcoming Wednesday. You're fishing it. Are you? See, she's like, she reminded me it's Wednesday. All right, it is Wednesday. It's all about ladies on Wednesday night. And uh, my wife wants to fish, so anybody want to take her fishing? You want to go fishing, Vita? Maybe me and you want to. No. Look at her. She's solid. Let's give her a <laughs> for her. <laughs> Look, she knows what she's doing. Look at that pose. <laughs> Job well done. You know what? Obviously, you love bass. Yeah, I do. I really do. What's your favorite species of fish? Uh, Smallmouth. Really? Yeah. Over or over large mouse? So did you go after small mouth today? Yeah, definitely did. We only have one in the bag, one large mouse. So yeah, small mouth was where it was at for so sure. Now that you see what these guys brought in, would you still say it's all about small mouth? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Who do you want to thank? Remax Eastern for giving me the weekend off. Thanks, <laughs> Remax. There you go. Big raw job, boss. That's pretty cool. Okay. Team 14, Dave Roberts and Tim Wheeler. All right, who's coming up here? Timmy Wheeler coming up. What a bag that came in, Tim. I'm going to be straight up with you. Is that not impressive? It's almost embarrassing the way this ends. Well, you know what? It's all respectable, and, and, uh, and it's all about points, right? Absolutely. You know, and, and that's what it's all about. So you're gaining points. Team of the year is based on points, all based on four tournaments. 840, we'll get these guys back. So, you know, Tim, only because, you know, you're one of these guys, hate to call you a veteran, I'm one of those guys too. Um, what are you thinking? What are you thinking today? Like you know, when you're looking back, did you think you maybe targeted the right areas, the wrong areas? What would you have done different, knowing that that kind of largemouth bag came in? I would have gone for a largemouth instead all day. Yeah, and, and that's the big thing about smallmouth. You know, you guys get locked up on these areas, and uh, you know what? It's like live and die by the sword. You sit there and wait for those smallmouth to turn on, and you're filtering through like tons of quarter pound fish, and then you know you're hoping for those bigger guys to come on, but. Even in all the terms that we've ran here, and we've seen some good bags of smallmouth, I don't know that we were looking at 2340 of smallmouth. No, I haven't seen that in a long time here. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Who do you want to thank, buddy? Uh, just my partner and you guys for a great, uh, great tournament. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. And for all the folks that just tuned in, ladies and gentlemen, it's 23.05 that's leading the event. It's 6.35 that's the right now for the big large mouth, and 4.50 is the big small mouth. Vita, who's up here next? Team number 15, Jeff Mifsud and Joe Keskinet. All right, Joe Misfit coming up to the podium, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like a small mouth bag, not large mouth, and that's a pretty serious bag of fish. Uh, yeah, that, that makes us look bad. Were you even expecting to possibly see a bag like that come in here today? No. You know, and, and that is the most <laughs> impressive bag of fish. Vita, we got lost some water there. All right, so we're zeroing the bags. We're going to go back in. All right, so you guys obviously targeted smallmouth out here, but I know that on Race Lake, you're also a smallmouth guy. And uh, today, would you have done things a little bit different looking back? Uh, judging by what they did, yeah. <laughs> All right, 1170. Vita, make that official. 1165. 
1170. All right, hold the fish up for us, for our folks, Jeff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause. We're going to be going to commercial break here in just a second. And uh, what we're going to do is when we do get back, we'll be finishing weighing up the rest of the guys. Uh, once again, it's 2305 is what's leading the event. 6.35 is the big large mold, 4.50. And, Jeff, is there anything you want to say, anybody you want to thank before you go? I'd like to thank you guys. Good show. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Job well done. It's all about the show. All right, we got a commercial break coming your way, and we'll be right back. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Vita, you want to do a quick rundown of the top three, top five? Let's go top three teams. Currently in first position, Chris Little and Josh Burke with 23.05. In second, Dan Risordo of Frank Perciuseppe with 19.70. And in third place, Chris Cole, Scott Holmes with 16.85. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We'll keep bringing them up here. Team Vita. number two, Mike Williams and Dwayne Jacobs. Mike Williams, Dwayne Jacobs coming up here next. Let's see if it got what it takes to take it over top. top. Buddy, how you doing right now? Not bad, yourself. Last league champions. Let's see, are we going to do it again this year? I'm hoping so. It's on the same body of water. We may have some luck there. All right, that's a very respectable weight here today. 1705, also 17 a guide through, even. The, through all the quarters, but I guess you specialize on tri lakes, but you do touch here on sturgeon as well, too. Um, and. Um, what do you think? You were, we sh we're sitting on a 23-pound bag of largemouth bass. Um, pretty, pretty incredible, eh? Yeah, I've never seen a bag like that come out of here in a long time. So it's like every craw, every star must have aligned. And you know that big fish that came in by Gooch, definitely something that you gotta say wow to. Yeah, I seen him pull it out of the live well. It was kind of like him, short and stumpy. <laughs> Pull the fish up for our folks. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. This is our classic champions right here. They're looking for a rebounder, so they're looking to take it back to back. Let's see if we can make it happen. It's our last year uh, that we're going to be on Stony next year. It looks like we might be going balsam way. We'll see what happens. Um, anything you want to say before you go, bro? I'd just like to thank uh, my partner, Dwayne, for uh, netting these fish. I got to give him a little bit of lesson. He scared me a few times, but. Uh, and also my parents uh, are taking my young lad to uh, his ball provincials this weekend, so they help me out when I get to fish these events. Right, and for the folks that are maybe looking for a guide to get on the water summer, uh, how do they get a hold of you? They can reach me at williamsoutfitters.com or 877-266-9351. Uh, all right, buddy, thank you very much. Even if you're on the internet, man, you can actually right now go in his website and see what he's all about. So let's keep bringing him up here. Who's on their way up here next? Up next, the 2016 Team of the Year for the Central Tour, Gerard Cox and Jared Dean. All right, here we go. Ger oh, my God, you look pretty serious. You Are you serious? Are you happy? I'm a serious guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Small mouth, large mouth today. What you guys target? Dinkays. Dinkies, <laughs> all right, 1425s. You know what, though? It is what it is. Um, so, you know, what do you think of that way? You know, I've been asking a few guys because I remember you actually won a pro am here once, um, and it wasn't far from that weight. And uh, we haven't seen those big weights in a long time with largemouth. So, um, is the largemouth maybe turning around? Is this something that becomes something we're going to be challenging in the next few years? I don't know. We'll see. You don't just manufacture a bag like that. They found an area that had some good fish in it. Kind of like the areas you used to have? I got all my fish in a uh, 20-foot diameter. Really, eh? All right, so do you believe in that all the fish, that 10% of the fish, wait, 100% of the fish are 10% of the lake? No. 
<laughs> okay, hold the fish up for it, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jared Dean fishing with Gerard Cox, and this must be a huge <laughs> for you guys, right? <laughs> no? <laughs> you know, look at these guys. You know, I hope the camera got a hold of these guys because these guys, are. You, this is the guy you were waiting for, isn't it? You betcha it was. <laughs> one, one of them. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know that's pretty awesome. Now, what came first, the shirt or the shorts? I'm curious. Uh, it came as a package. It's my Sturgeon Lake outfit. <laughs> that is. <laughs> it's a fashion thing now. It's always a fashion thing. You have to have an outfit for every body of water. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, all joking aside, tell us. I know it's about the jig when it comes to you guys. Um, was it about the jig today? Yeah, it's always about the jig. We didn't throw anything else. So it was a shallow, deep, like obviously they were saying similar type style baits were the slow presentation. It was nothing. There was no fish anywhere we fished. And that was it? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Who do you want to thank? Uh, just thank you guys. Love the show. Your staff does a great job. Shimano G. Loomis, uh, Power Pro, and my partner for netting all my fish. <laughs> Big round of applause. <laughs> Team number wow. 72, Tom Neville and Cam Neville. All right, here we go, looking for some big Team Neville, two brothers that have rocked it. What do you think of these guys, man? They're your homeboys. Yeah, they did an awesome job today. You know what? Maybe, uh, maybe we shouldn't be. We were contemplating coming back up to the Hamel, uh, the uh, Halliburton Lake chain, but that'll probably be the next shift. Yeah, it'd be nice to go back up there. Some water that's clean. Some water that's clean. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get close. We're gonna go to. Pro it looks like it looks like Balsam for next year. We're gonna hit there for a couple of years. Uh, we got some great ideas on how we're gonna present and how make the event even better and greater. Um, and Fourteen we got some pounds great stuff even. Happening. It's still a very good weight. Um, you know, you guys basically fish very similar. Um, what do you think that they did different than you guys did today? Found big fish. <laughs> okay, hold the fish up for our folks. Let's give a big round of applause. This is no better way of putting it, being quite on and honest. You know, the only good thing is that you got a big 6.35 pound largemouth. It's going to be hard to beat. And if we do get one that's going to be bigger, somebody that wants to challenge it, it's going to be real huge. That's all I can tell you. 450 is the big smallmouth. Big, uh, the big weight right now, 23 pounds. Anybody want to thank before you go? Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, Hummingbird, Minn Kota. We're on the same team, but I mean, Bird Makota, if you don't have the electronics, they're not going to catch those fish. Who's up here next? Team honey? number four, Derek Connor and Peter Watson. All right, boys, Watson and Connor coming up here right now, and they're both up here. So something you guys must uh, you must have had a good day. You, had, you know what? A good day is being out here, right? Uh, good day is fishing, yes. Exactly. That's the way I look at it, too. Now, large most small Total mouth, weight, 14 All large mouth. Large one. That's what I would have been doing too. Hold the fish up for our folks. Let's give them a big round of applause again, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like they both had a very satisfying day, and uh, that's huge. You know, when you get out there and you can say, I had a good, satisfying day. Again, folks, please be careful with the trailers backing up. Uh, once again, the trailers are coming back down. We want to be very careful. Uh, guys, let me a quick question. Very respectable bag, but was there maybe something you might have done different here this afternoon? Kekus Bay. <laughs> you you didn't we fish? Stayed north when we lost. Stayed all north? Yeah. You think their fish came from Goose Bay? Well, I don't know. All right, who do you want to thank, buddy? Uh, my partner for doing a great job today and my wife for letting me fish all the time I do. Thank you. You want to add to that? Uh, thanks, Pete. He's my boss. Let me uh, b go on the boat with him and uh, enjoy the day. There you go. That's the best way. Fish with your boss. That way you got no, you got no problems there. <laughs> job well done. All Team right, 39, thanks, Mike Slocky and John Hawley. All right, Slocky and Hawley. There we go. Let's see what goes down here. Again, another green bag of fish. And, uh, you know, nice fish, though. You got to be happy with that. Yeah, it was a pretty good day. There's one brown one in there. On this lake, um, at one time, it was a lot about surface baits. Actually, it sounds like Dan Resorto, Frank Burchisepi's fish Today's came in on a surface bait. Um, the largemouth seemed to do that in the past. Did they do that for you here today? Uh, no, we caught nothing on top water today. Okay, hold the fish up for our folks, and uh, and uh, we'll show you a couple of nice largemouth incidental smallmouth in there. You know what? The rest of the summer might be all about largemouth bass because tomorrow we're on Scugog. But then again, we never know. Mr. Formos will be with us. Mike Brown will be with us. It could be a smallmouth factory tomorrow unless these guys are there and show them how to catch largemouth. All right, it's all about the green fish. I don't know what it is, but I always think that the Kawartha largemouth are incredible fish because they really are thick right to the tails, especially tomorrow you'll find that on Scugog 100%. Who do you want to thank before you go, bro? Uh, i got to thank Mike. He caught most of the fish today, uh, you and your family for putting on the show. It's always a good time. 
But thank you very much. Job well done. And uh, here we go. Vita, she's signing over the list. Let me get, uh, let me get these guys on the mic here a little bit longer here. All right, so real quick before we get our next guy up. Okay, so it wasn't the color of the bait. It was a slow presentation. What was the surface on the bottom of the bait? Was it weed? Was it rock? Was it sand? Well, uh, it wood. No, that we didn't find any wood. Um, there was definitely weed. We needed we needed weed. Um, if we could ha find a bit of a mix of rock in, that was that seemed to make the difference. Um, it, it, to be honest, the whole day just came together and uh, seemed like every spot there was. A was it just the five fish, or was there a lot more? Uh, we didn't catch a whole lot of fish. We only caught probably uh, 15, I guess. So I guess that's decent. Um, but uh, no, it, it was good. Definitely weed, and if we could find some rock with it. That seemed to be the ticket. But bottom contact. Bottom contact. Vita, who's up here? Team next 26, time? Jeff Davis and Sam Davis. All right, Davis and Davis coming up here. It looks also like a good bag of fish coming up right now and a very nice bag of fish. Uh, you had a good day of fishing today? Yeah, tough day, that's for sure. Grind. Tough day, grinded, 13, 13.65. That's not too bad. You got to be happy with that. Yeah, it's not too bad. Right on. So, uh, again, largemouth for you guys as well? Yeah, we usually chase smallies, but uh, not today, I guess. Uh, well, you did the right move, though, judging what's happening. Hold the fish up for our camera, and uh, let's give these Today's boys a big round of applause. 13, 15. 13, 15, and there we go. We got a couple. He's going to show you a nice large boat bass, a couple largies. Okay, put your hands together. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad bag of fish right there, and we'll get these guys back right where they belong, and that uh, job well done. Who do you want to thank, buddy? Uh, just my dad for taking me out and fishing, and you for putting on a good show, Andy. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate all the support. You know what? And, um, you know, when it comes to fishing, you know, with dads and moms and sisters, wives, um, you know what? I really applaud people like that because, uh, you know, what being maybe our culture, and I think it's not just our culture, it's just being about family, and that's a huge thing for us. And, and I've had the opportunity to share my career with my family every single weekend. So I really appreciate having family around. So Team who's 20, up here? Bradley Sullivan and Clint Hiltz. All right, Hilt and Sullivan coming up here right now. Is it enough to take it over the top? You know what? I don't know. Like I, I, I feel bad even saying that to guys because I'd be coming up with a 12-pound bag. And, uh, you know, I'd actually, I'd probably be less than yours. So I'm not going to put anybody on the spot. But you did have fun, right? Nine yeah, 50. I'm just happy we got five fish. That's all. And I think a lot of guys are going to be happy with five fish here today. You want to hold the fish up for the camera real quick? All right, let's give a big round of applause. And, and that is huge, you know, to have, uh, to be able to just have five fish. George, did you see that? 23 pounds by 23 pounds of largemouth. I can't even begin to tell you how incredible that is. And a 6.40 smallmouth. Anybody you want to thank before you go, buddy? Uh, just the wife and uh, Vita and yourself. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Job well done. And away they go. I'll tell you, I still can't get over a 6.35. That's two weeks in a row of six-plus pound largemouth bass. Who's up here next? Team 13, honey? Justin Woolacott and Bryn Campbell. All right, boys, come on. Today's your day. Is it going to be a day to shine? we got 13 pay spots. So you know what? Maybe first place is maybe a little bit of a reach today. But <laughs> I think, I think you know, we could do top 13 and be good. And that's not bad. you got to be okay with that. Yeah, it was, you know, uh, we had a tough day. We lost a few. But, I mean, we weren't coming close to 23. So those guys. 11.30. Today, you know what? Uh, it's all about points, right? Absolutely. If you don't win, you don't get points. So hold the fish up for it, folks. Let's give these boys a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Again, they weighing in a day of smallmouth bass. Looks like their target here this afternoon. And um, would you have thought maybe largemouth would have been a, another way to go or not really? Uh, we started off largies today, just, you know what, we couldn't capitalize, and uh, we decided to trace the brown ones, and it didn't work out. Well, you know what, good thing you got your five fish, so thank you. Who do you want to thank before you go? I just thank my partner for a good day, and you guys as well. All right, thanks, buddy. Job well done. Whew, I'll tell you, you guys are that much closer to $5,000. How are you feeling right now? <laughs> I'd be feeling good, too. <laughs> Team 33, Rodney Johnston and Kevin Lazenka. Boys, 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 do we got a big bag of fish today? No, we had a tough day today. Uh, we had a tough time getting five fish, so uh, we're happy that we did. But you know, I'll tell you, sometimes, you know, when you're in areas of big fish, it's not about a lot of numbers. Today's weight, 1140. You, you might as well have been in big, you might probably have been in good water for big fish. Um, the numbers usually don't follow big, uh, well, except for these guys, 15 fish today, but that doesn't normally happen. Usually it's five fish, and that's all you get. So um, what would you have done different looking back today? Well, we started out chasing smallmouth today, and, and it uh, it really crippled us today. So we uh, we scrambled to get five green ones later in the day, so we're happy with that. 
Hold the fish up for our folks. Let's give these boys a big round of applause. I got a big question for you guys coming up, and uh, it's a question that definitely will make a difference and hopefully better your fishing. You know, some of you folks that are here are going to be out there fishing tomorrow, and uh, again, it's uh, it's pretty impressive what these guys are bringing in. Who do you want to thank before you go? Uh, my partner and you guys for putting on a great event. Buddy, thank you very much. Job well done, man. All right, so here's the question I got for you because he actually brought it to mind, and the thing is, is timing, Chris, time. Time. Time is a big thing when it comes to fishing, right? So these fish, do you think time was a factor? Uh, Early, late, mid, all day? I, I don't think it played much of a factor. I think if you drop the jig in front of their face, there they were, bang. So for the guys that went and targeted smallmouth first thing and then maybe went back to go for these – you know, that went back at another point to say, hey, you know, we're, you know, we can't do this. Let's go after some large mouth. Um, so you don't think that those guys missed out on anything? I really don't. Our two biggest ones came late in the day. Wow. All right. Right place, right time. Who's up here next, Vita? Team number 65, Gary Miller. Gary Miller fished as an individual today. Definitely challenging the boys. We know Gary can do it. And I see a horse in there. Hey, that's a good bag of fish. Oh, that's not too bad be pretty happy with that yeah i love fishing on uh sturgeon you know what one rod all by himself 18 plus pounds vita makes that official 18 18 15 that's definitely a money position and something you should be proud of 18 50 yeah yeah that's great you're not expecting that i didn't think it was that big so one was to wait again no that's okay <laughs> all right hold the fish up for us gary do you got something bigger than six pounds in there no, do you get all largemouth. Now Gary's like he's like kind of old school like me, and he likes the largemouth. And we're hoping that he's got a big largemouth there. All green fish, just like that. Eighteen pounds of fish. That's by himself, boys. Could have been a different story with one more stick in the boat. Do you want to try that guy in the right? Let's weigh him in. We have to see another big fish. We can't keep doing this. We got to see some big fish. He's a nice fish, very healthy. What do you think he's going to weigh? I'd say four and a quarter. Okay, so um, what do you think? Uh, four and a third. Four and a third. That's like, oh, man, that's terrible. Eh? Like, that is, I would have said higher or, oh, oh, okay, put him down. Put him in. I'm going to hold this down for a second. Okay, so 425. If it's higher, wait, no, I want to do, I want a coffee bet tomorrow. You're buying coffee tomorrow. All right, push zero. Push zero. Okay, so he said 425. Higher or lower, you're buying coffee tomorrow for everybody. All the whole two, $22 worth of coffee at Tim Hortons tomorrow morning. Higher or lower than 22, 4.25. Higher. Look at these guys. Then, what? That's definitely a nice fish. Five pounds of fish. I'm buying coffee again. It's okay. I didn't really lose. I was going to pay anyways. <laughs> that did not look like a five pounder to you me. You know what? He had dinner, buddy. When I jerked him, I jerked him right out of the water like a little one. Just like because you're getting muscular. I don't know, yeah. You're getting stronger. I was, I was kayaking, right, because I was boatless for a while there. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You know what? I'm sorry, bro. And I'm not because I love you, Gary. You know what I'm about to say? Not to insult anybody. When you see a six pound fish, it's like kind of like, wow, you know, it's pretty bad. So I'll tell you. But you right now, you guys are the story, man. You know, I'm sure there's a million people already texting each other. So they all, you hear about that bag of fish coming in. And there are some good anglers. You know, I'm looking at that trough right now. The guy that won it last year is at the end. The guy in front of him, I don't know. He's won so many terms. The redneck, you got to be careful when <laughs> you don't know what's going to come in there. I'm looking at that whole trough of guys. Look at those poker faces. And uh, you know what? I'm telling you, I'm thinking we're near. Uh, uh, Rick, you the last guy? Or is there somebody coming up behind? A couple more coming up behind? So you didn't sandbag this and wait till the end? So you're not waiting till the end? No, you just want to take over Team the lead 58, now? Team 58, Jim Harris and Dale <laughs> Brown. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to be taking that spot. It's five thousand dollars for first place, twenty five hundred dollars for second. What do you want? <laughs> you know, we we had a terrible. <laughs> you know what? Let's give these guys a big round of applause. Representing the Lindsay Bassmasters, they won a great event here earlier this season, and it's uh, it's I'll tell you, it's all for good causes. It helps them with a lot of their uh, summer um, uh, summer uh, summer uh, events that you guys run and, and charity and everything else, right? That's right. Yeah. You gonna hold the fish up for our folks? No. No, we're going to let him go, Dave? All right, we'll let him go. You know what? It's all about home bro, home, uh, home, water, bro, so we'll get these back. Anybody you want to thank before you go? I'd like to thank you. You guys put on a class act. I just want to ask you one question because there's a lot of people watching and there's a lot of people that actually live here. Um, how do these guys hook up to Lindsay Bassmasters here in this town? We, we just go on our website, and we have one meeting a month year-round, uh, first Wednesday of every month. It's a lot of fun. 
No, the meetings aren't fun. <laughs> the fishing's fun. <laughs> All right, so you're going to first want to hear us because you haven't heard us, but we're having a challenge. We're going to have the biggest joint tournament next year, and the CSFL is running it. We are inviting three teams from every single club, whether it's BASS or it's or CBAF or it's Downtown Bass or it's DAA. I don't care what club you're from. As long as they're a legitimate club, top three teams are invited to the Invitational, and we're going to knock on the Spring Fishing and Boat Show's door to see what they can put into this. And guess who owns the Spring Fishing and Boat Show? You. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. Job well done. Thank you very much. Let's give these guys a big round of applause. And uh, it means a lot to us. You know, you don't want to believe this, and folks have to understand. The OFAH is a voice for all people, whether it's hunters, anglers. But these clubs that are out there, and a lot of the OFAH clubs, they're out there doing work that, you know what, nobody's going to do. You know, like, you can't pay for what these guys are doing in, in your neighborhood. So, they definitely need a big applaud. Vita, who's up here next? Team 46, Joey Crumpton and Ron Agnew. Look at this guy. <laughs> and I'll, I'll tell you, I used to shop at this guy's store. I don't know if you all remember Fishing Plus back in the day down in the Martin Grove area. How are you, Ron? I thought when I see you in, the day in that boat deck, who's this young guy? Yeah, well, I've uh, had a few health issues, so I had to miss a few years. But uh, one more surgery, and I'm going to be back fishing next year. Oh, buddy. Well, that's good to hear. You know, when welcome you retire, back. you're welcome. And that's a good bag of fish. What we have? 1575. All right, how about that? She must have put her finger on the scale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't think she had to, buddy. So, you know, you haven't been around for a while, but, you know, in your day when you were around, you know, that's a pretty impressive bag of fish. And what do you think? Uh, we had a great day. I mean, Joey kind of had to do all the heavy lifting today. I'm fishing on one leg, but had a great time. I miss doing this stuff, and it was great to be out there today. Buddy, we love having you here, so we're expecting to see you. How, and how's your daughter doing? Daughter's doing great. Two kids and uh, having a good time. Well, if Amy's watching, I'm going to say, hi, Amy. We miss you. Hopefully, we'll see you one day. And uh, you're going to hold the fish up for our folks? Yeah, there's a big smallie in there we should look at. All right, big smallmouth. We're going to try for big fish right now. And let's see how he goes. Big smallmouth currently sitting at 4.50 and definitely an opportunity at 25% of the lunker pool. And that's not a bad fish. Come on, big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Smallmouth bass, nice colors. We're going to put him in and weigh him in as a big fish. We got a zero in there. And here we go. Big fish. For 3.90, not taking over top. You know, anyways, Ron, I want to say thank you very much. It's a pleasure seeing you come back here again, and we're looking forward to seeing you again and again. I'll be back. Thanks, buddy. Okay, let's give Ron Agnew a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Job well done, and uh, away he goes. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, anything can happen at any given time. We're always looking for a big bag of fish, and, you know, I'll tell you, this is probably a body of water that at one time was known for the huge large most guys would travel from everywhere to get here and uh, i'll tell you today 23.05 pounds in first place a big overall large mouth at 6.35 absolutely ludicrous all right keep them coming who's up here next oh, we're waiting we got a lot of water up here so one second team number 7d troy jacobs and granger taylor all right, here we go, bringing in some good bag of fish as well, too. Team Taylor, put him up here, and we got a zero on those scales. Let's put him in there. We'll take it from this point. All right, somebody wants our attention? Oh, oh, he's talking to something else. I'm sorry, bro. I'm paying attention to what's happening on the sidelines. Everything's good? Keep him in here for a second until she's at her, at her thing. So you had a good day today? Oh, not bad. It kind of sucks, too, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the when guys are honest about that. All right, yeah, Alex can go. We're probably good. Yeah, I think Alex. We want to thank Alex for coming out and helping us. Alex Zamek, you want to help? Tomorrow. We'll see him tomorrow. Alex, we're going to say thank you very much for helping out. We're, we're okay with Alex going, right? Thank you, Alex. He, uh, Alex, you helped out with the fish. So tell us about your day today. Oh, it's a long day. We caught all our five fish by 9 o'clock, so it was a long day from there. It is, and that's still a respectful Today's weight, 14, weight, 14 pounds. 10. Might put you into the cash. we got 13 pay spots, performance paybacks. Hold the big smallmouth out for our folks. And uh, let's see, do you think he's big enough to take the leap? Right now, 4.5 pounds is the big largemouth on the lunker side. And I don't know if he's going to be 4.5, but we can try him. All right, let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for job well done. All right. Here we go. We're going to take this over the top. 3.4.15. Not quite enough, but still good fish, and you got to be happy with that. And we want to thank for you go. Okay. No, oh, that's good. Thanks for you guys and all that. Good day. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Job well done. All right. Let's keep them coming, and we're going to be going to commercial in a few Gray minutes. Team and Bill Gray. All right. Team Gray coming up to the podium. Let's see what happens. Again, we are looking for big fish. That could happen. 23 pounds 
has been done. We need 23.10. Is that going to happen? Not today, Andy. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell you something, but it is going to happen. There will be a day when that weight will be. It might be them next year beating their own weight. Absolutely. You never know. Or it could be you. <laughs> I'd yeah. take that. I hope we see a big bag again tomorrow. Let's hold up a fish for our folks. Let's give a big round of applause again, ladies and gentlemen. We'd really like to see some big fish, and hopefully tomorrow, again, we will be seeing some big smallmouth along with huge largemouth. Look at that. I cannot believe the amount of largemouth bass that have come in this afternoon um, here and, uh, again, all going back to the lake where they belong. But huge, huge largemouth bass. Is there anybody you want to thank before you go, buddy? You know, I've got to thank Jocelyn down to the Dangling Outfitters. Uh, hummingbird all over running Low Ranch today, but I like the hummingbird, so. Book One of our sponsors, so thank you. <laughs> we'll see you at Scugog tomorrow. All right, buddy, and thank you very much. And say hi to Joss from us, too. And uh, great store. If you haven't had the chance to go down there, Angling High uh, Outfitters is a great store. It's getting hot up here, eh? Team 76, Doug Monahan and Eric Mahol. See how hard it is up here? People sit there and think that guy, all he does is talk, right? <laughs> so I do talk. But I'm talking because I'm watching what's happening here. And I got to be careful about handing this guy the mic because we never know what can we have. To <laughs> we don't have a person going beep, 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 beep. I love this guy. You don't Total understand. Total weight, 1130. I've known this guy for the longest time. And, um, you know, it's, it's good to see you here, buddy. And uh, you had fun, right? Yeah, it was pretty good. And um, is this is this one of your more favorite lakes, or is this one you kind of get by on? I'm starting to hate it now. <laughs> <laughs> but you're you're originally a largemouth guy, but on rice you were a small eater guy. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try and go for the small eats tomorrow and scugog. You know, and 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 that's a lot to be said because you know smallmouth have really started to dominate scugog over the past few years, and um, you know it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. But over the past two tournaments, even on rice. You know, we've seen, other than the Johnson's bag that came in with the smallmouth, we've been seeing a lot of dominating bags in the largemouth, and tomorrow that might be the same tale. Yeah, I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the fish up for folks. Ladies and gentlemen, Dougie Monahan. let's give him a big round of applause, and uh, tomorrow you can follow him over on the Simp Scugog. So there you go. These guys, there you go, beautiful fish. Dougie, anybody want to thank before you go? Yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for putting on a good show. And, uh, yeah, I was trying not to swear. <laughs> I love this guy. Thank you very much. Team number <laughs> 60, Rick Verkruzen and Jessica Verkruzen. You, you got to be nervous here, bro. They won this event last year, and, and this guy, uh, and all his. Oh, man. He could have played it out a little better. Now, this has to be good. It looks pretty good. <laughs> For you guys, right? All right. You know, Rick, you could have played that a little bit more, man. These guys are, you know, you've, you've won, Today's I don't know how many weight, events out here. Even. And, uh, you know, Back in the day, it was always about the river. You know, you and Deb fished the river, and you know, we all knew that. And it was you guys, Deb liked that big worm, and you liked the fl the, uh, the jig. I, is it still like that today or not really? Uh, there are days that uh, you can be good in there, but without sunshine, she's a pretty tough deal for me anywhere in this lake. So in, in uh, you know, and I, I believe you and Grant still hold one of our records for three in a row, three different lakes going back years ago. Um, but the question I have for you, now that you are guiding full time as your job, and uh, are you guiding the lakes you fish? Like, are you st are you guiding this lake? I know you're doing rice. I know you work through Golden Beach and a few other areas. But are you guiding out here as well, too? Absolutely. Actually, I got a trip booked here for tomorrow. Oh, wow. So it worked out kind of good for you? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's your slip. Hold the fish up for it, folks. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, and if you're on the net, this is Rick for cruising, fishing with his sweetheart today. And, uh, again, a respectable weight. Last year's champion winners here on this body of water. And I uh, can't win them all, right, Rick? Yeah. Who do you want to thank before you go? Uh, my wife and my daughter, for sure. I fished uh, a lot of tournaments with them and the album with my son. So uh, they're always my support team. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Job well done. <laughs> that is a big one for you guys because, you know, even in my day, like with these guys, like I hate to, you know, they date us, but he was freaking kicked butt all the time. Yeah, he did. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so it's team a good 62, team. You must be feeling Don real good. Sangster and Trevor Fuse. <sighs> let's go, boys. Let's make it happen. Is it going to happen today? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, uh, I hate Scugog. You're not a fan of Scugog? <laughs> no, not at all. And I live there, so. Really? The worst, yeah. That's my favorite lake. It just even. seems like there's like so much place to fish there, but that's probably the biggest problem. There's just so much areas to fish. Yeah, I just I don't know. Just can't find them this year. Struggling this year a bit. So I'm hoping tomorrow's going to be your day, buddy. I hope so too. Right, hold the fish up for our folks. Let's give them a big round of applause. And uh, it just is what it is, right? Sometimes it's your day, Scotty. How do you feel about that weight? Pretty serious weight, bro. 
you got to be happy with that. You know what? That's pretty respectable. Right now, if you just tuned in, it's 23.05. It's uh, it's 6.35 is the large mouth for the overall big fish. And the big, for big small mouth currently at 4.50. So is there anybody you want to thank for you go, bro? Uh, you guys, obviously, for putting this on. My partner for putting up with me for the day. And, yeah, that's it. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, and uh, thank you very much. Job well done. You know, folks, if you come out tomorrow and you bring the boys and girls, they have ice cream there. Maybe something they should do here. Where is she? <laughs> yeah, I don't get great crap. Team you know, 53, James Bullock and Mike Gray. This is a great place to get out to when you're looking at a place to just get out and have fun. You're right on the lake. You're at the beginning of the lake, and you can fish with a kayak directly out here. And just by coming out at Moorings, how are you, Mike? You have a good day today? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was uh, fun day, lots of lost fish, buddy. Uh, lots of lost Today's fish. Today's weight, well, 1290. You know I'll tell you, it's uh, it's a respectable bag of fish. Hold the fish up for our folks, and uh, you know the whole thing about these is is sometimes you want to say, well, you know, you should use a sharper hook, but it's just when you're fishing these fish, and it's like lightning, and especially when it's largemouth, and they come out, and it's like wham, and you're like not ready, and you're like, oh my god, I just missed that, and you're hoping you didn't sting it. That is a huge fish. Weigh them up. Put this thing here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a look at this fish. And uh, I just want to see a nice fish. So I got I got to see a big fish here once in a while. It makes me happy. So there you go. All right, let's. that's a good fish. Come on. All right, what do you say he's going to weigh at? All right, this is for coffee for Wednesday, ladies' night. 4-7. Over or under? Under. You know what? I was going to say that, but that's pretty mean. Do you know that, right? Uh, well, I don't want to drink coffee. That's pretty mean. 4-7. Oh. Man, I'm paying for coffee on Wednesday night, ladies and night. Mike, it's okay, buddy. Yeah, it's, it was a good day. I mean, when you lose a lot of fish, it's it's one of those just the ball didn't bounce in your way. But, uh, you know, it, it happens, but we're on to tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Well, buddy, good luck to you and take your slip, and I hope tomorrow's going to work. You know, your partner once won a big fish uh, back in the day on, on Scugog, and it was well over six pounds. We're hoping he's going to pull it together tomorrow. You know, we just want to do a quick shout to our sponsors that makes this happen. And if you are looking for boat insurance, make sure you give our folks at North Star Insurance. Ask for Jared. Tell him Andy told you to call him. And if you ain't fishing with Hummingbird or Minn Kota Electronics, then you're missing out on a lot of fish. You ain't seeing the fish. And uh, you know what? Powered by Mercury, Lund Boats. I'll tell you, two great, uh, two great companies that stand behind their products and the Spring Fishing and Boat Show. I'll tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's the show that you want to go with, especially if you want to say you're a fisherman. We're talking to Kevin Van Dam's Rick. We're talking to Mike Kite Canelli's. We're talking to everybody, and it's going to be the best show ever this coming years. And two of our newest sponsors, Abu Garcia, Berkeley. Vita. Team 45, Don Lockington and Timothy Deering. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. One at a time, it's all going to come up. You know, are you impressed by the bag that came in, though? The big one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. You know, and the thing is, is it makes you wonder how close those fish are to your line when you're fishing, doesn't it? I just felt like I was playing in a nursery today. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he says that. All right, hold the fish up for a place. You know what? He's, uh, you know, they pay big money for nurse for. Uh, daycare uh, people eh? so <laughs> hopefully it's gonna pay back for you today so fishing in a nursery is what he called it 2305 is in first place 6.35 pounds is the large mouth 4.5 is the big large mouth and anything you want to thank before you go you for putting this on and my partner thanks buddy and we want to thank you guys man always a pleasure we'll see you tomorrow tomorrow we are on scuba you know it's a sport it's something you want to have fun it's a hobby but you know what? It keeps you young. It keeps you competitive. And tomorrow might just be their day. Who's up here next, Vita? Team number 77, Chad Evans and Gary Evans. Team Evans coming up here right now. And uh, I'll tell you, you guys are having a lot of fun this year, eh? Of course we're having lots of fun. You know, and that's what it's all about. Looks like you got a pretty good bag of fish today. Yeah, not too bad. And I'll tell you, you know, there's been a lot of bags that have come into that point. But if you called out that one fish, you know, your smallest fish in there, what's your smallest fish, you think? You think he's... Pound, pound and a half? Pound and a half, yeah. If you take that six and a half, right, that would give you five more pounds. Can you imagine? That would give you money. That would be a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're here, so it should be a good feeling. Hold the fish up for it, folks. And let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We love to see these young guys coming up here and uh, doing some great things. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you, we're getting near that end. And, uh, you know, there's sometimes there's always somebody that holds back because they just don't want to come here. But uh, it means a lot. You know, you get your fish out of your live wells. You get them into our trough, the oxygenation is helping them. Um, so 
is there anything today that you might think you would have did different? Even sometimes when you have the best possible bag, do you think that maybe you could have tweaked it still or not really? Um, actually, today was as perfect as it could get, other than this morning. We were pretty serious in the morning, and we forgot our sunscreen. So we had to turn around and go back to the convenience store. So we're like, oh, oh I got to get down to Snug Harbor. So we launched in Bob Cajun because we're closer to drive home. Um, so other than forgetting the sunscreen, no, everything was perfect. It was D-Day. That was it, yeah. All right, buddy, let's hope it's going to hold out for you guys, man. All right, Dita, who's up here? Team number 79, Greg Roth and Bob Switzer. All right, Roth and Switzer coming up here, and let's see what goes down. Big bag is what we're looking for. Bob, is it going to happen? No. All right, representing Switzer Motors on Highway 35. If you're looking for a new vehicle, make sure you go see Bob. Tell him Andy sent you there. Are you going to give him at least 10% off? At least. All right, at least 10% off. Even. Bob, hold the fish up for it, folks. Let's give a big round of applause again. Fishing with Greg Roth and 12 pounds even is what they're going to walk over. The, you're definitely going to want to follow them over to Scugog tomorrow and see what they're capable of doing uh, on Lake Scugog. And for all you ladies out there, Bob would like to fish on Wednesday night, and he would like to fish with the Lady Angler. So if you want to get out there fishing, let Bob know. He'll be more than happy to take you out fishing on Wednesday afternoon. Right, Bob? Actually, I have a partner. Oh, you found a partner? I found one, finally. Okay, so you finally, <laughs> he said, I finally found a partner. All right, but that's okay, right? What do you want to thank, buddy? Uh, thanks for putting the show on and your family. All right, buddy, thank you very much. Job well done. All right, so he found a partner. I'm sorry. But if you are a female or if you are a lady and you want to fish, I'm sure I'll find you a fisherman. All right, who's up here, honey? Team 71, Murdoch Graham and Susan Higgins. All right, Susan, come on up here looking for a big bag of fish. Murdoch, and you know, it looked like you didn't even skip a beat. You took a two years off, and this morning I watched you blast off like you never left, eh? So you got fun with him? It was a great time. You know, it's uh, that guy there has had his day, but I'm thinking it's not a had thing. I think it's going to be back 980. again. But uh, it's good to see you guys having fun. That's all that matters, right? There, there's actually a really big fish in here, if you wouldn't mind weighing it. You want me to weigh it? Yes, please. You catch it? No, I don't. Are you going to hold it? Uh, if you pick it up. All right, I'll pick it up for you. Okay, so he caught this fish? Yeah. This is going to challenge the gooch. It's going to challenge the gooch. I think you guys, are you guys ready for this? You know what? I'm just going to, can you see the head on this thing? Do you see that? That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Are you ready? What's big fish right now? 6.55? Do you think it's bigger than 6.35? Uh, no. You're <laughs> this guy's terrible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? You going to high five? It deserves a big high. 5.5 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a big round of applause. Five, five, five. All right, hold. Five, five, five. That's okay. Hold it. Good. Under the boat. Under the boat. Underneath it? Under the boat. Yeah, it'd be easy. Look at that. Now, that is an easy way to hold the fish, and it's never, it feels comfortable. You're going to give it a kiss? No. It's like a good thing. It's a good luck thing. No. You have to give, just this, this part here has got no slime on it. I'll kiss Murdoch later. But <laughs> she compared you to a fish. <laughs> okay, honey, you know what? You had fun. That's all that matters, right? Thank you. All right, thank you. Let's give her a big round of applause. Let's give them all a big round of applause. That was a huge fish, and uh, job well done. Again, another huge largemouth. Is that not impressive? I'll tell you, absolutely incredible. Who's up here next, Vita? Team number 44, Andrew Zernick and Steve Carey. All right, boys, come on up here. And I'll tell you, these guys could possibly put, not today though, are you? Hey, how are you? How are you? But good. you had fun out there today, Steve? You had a good time? Yeah, it was a great day. I'll tell you, it looks like a good healthy bag of fish. It looks like it's going to be a money bag. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, very happy. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, and it's, is it a large mouth, small mouth, mixed bag? A mixed bag, actually, yeah. And yeah. Were, they, were they off of large mouth spots or they were kind of from small mouth spots? Well, actually, our big small mouth was off a of large mouth spot, which uh, was kind of odd. That's good then. You know what? At least you can say it's a largemouth thing because it was targeted on a largemouth watch. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, hold the fish up for our folks. Let's give these guys a big big round of applause. I'm pretty sure they got themselves a money spot. And uh, we're paying back 13 pay spots, 80 boats today. Uh, first spots going out of here with eight thousand, uh, sorry, $5,300 plus the lunkers and everything else that goes along with that. And, uh, again, 15 spots plus the performances. Uh, getting your money back. So let's give these guys a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Some nice fish. We'll get these guys right back where they belong. And uh, job well done. Is the smallmouth big enough to take the lead? We'll try a big smallmouth. Hold a zero. Yeah, we got a zero. Wait, zero. 
All right, put that guy right here. You can put your guys right back in here. There's oxygen in that water. All right, 4.15, just shy of 4.50. So I should have bet him on that because I could have got my coffee <laughs> thing. But anybody want to thank before you go? Uh, you know, I want to say thank you to – there's wonderful clubs around this province here, you know, from uh, uh, Fast Nation. And last year I managed to qualify to go as part of Team Ontario in Canada, and we had a riot down there. And it's a great experience, especially for novice anglers too, you know. Join a club. There's clubs probably like right here, Lindsay Bassmasters. They're all over the place, right? That's right. Uh, you know, there's at least three or four, I'd say, at least in this immediate neighborhood, and uh, they're spread right across Ontario. All you got to go is the OBFN or CBAF. They all they just go to their websites and they'll have a club right next to you. Anybody else you want to thank for going? Uh, thanks, Steve, for uh, putting up with me for the last couple of days, and uh, I'd like to thank you very much as well. Okay. Th yep. Thank you guys and uh, the wife and kids for allowing us to be out for the day. All right, boys, thank you very much. We're going to get back up here. We'll get you a little bit of money. Team number 40, Ted Sornberger and Sean Kirk. All right, here we go. Are we looking at a big bag of fish here? We are not. We are not. <laughs> it comes up here pretty serious. No, we're not. But uh, you know what? You had fun, right? I did. There was uh, four, but one didn't measure here at the stage. I was able to stretch them out in the water, but that happens, I guess. You know what? It's it's one of those things, and and for all the anglers, if you ever want, bring your scale, bring your measuring club. Uh, we use the Gator ruler; it just seems to be the most official one. And um, you know, sometimes it's not always the same of what we like to think. So, uh, it, but hold the fish up for it, folks, and you know what? Uh, enjoy the day for what it is. Let's give them a big round of applause. And uh, I'll tell you, you know what? You know, we do give penalties. We don't sit there and jump up and down. He openly admitted to a penalty, but at the end of the day. Um, you know, I don't think that, you know, we get that happen that anybody intentionally does anything. It's just something that happens. So <laughs> that's a pretty neat thing. <laughs> All right, buddy, who do you want to thank, buddy, before you go? Uh, just you guys for putting on another top-notch uh, organized show as usual. I appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate your support, man. Job well done. All right, don't forget your slip, bro. Okay, we got ourselves. We got ourselves about five or six guys left in the trough. Let's see what happens. Vita, who's on their way up here next? Team 80, Gary Manschold and Ryan Roddick. Ryan, it's up to you, bro. It's up to you. Gary's the guy. He likes largemouth. These are the guys to beat. You think you're going to do it today? Not today. You think Gary's the man that can do it? Yeah, he can do it. It's great. <laughs> I know Gary's definitely the man that can do it. Hold the spot up. Fish up for us, Ryan. Today's weight, 1425. Let's give a big round of applause. I'll bet you they never even put a, a minute in for pre-fish. Gary is a phenomenal angler, and he gets out there and just like, oh, my God, that's a two huge fish. Bless you on that, son. All right, look at that. Two nice fish. Let's weigh that big guy in. What do you think? What do you think? I'm thinking four and a half. Okay, wait, wait. I'm going to say it. I'll say what he is. I'm going to say, put that in there. I'm going to say 4.8. 4. What do you think? Higher or lower? Just say higher or lower. Lower. Lower? Okay, so I'm going higher. You're lower, right? So you're, I said 4.8. 4.8, right? Yeah. This is for coffee for next weekend. I can't believe this. All you right. need to stop. All right, Vita. Does it really matter? We buy coffee every weekend anyways. At least we might get lucky one weekend. By the time the classic rolls around, I'm going to have one on you. All right, buddy. Anybody you want to thank before you go? Yeah, I'd like to uh, thank my partner, Gary, and everyone at CSFL for putting on a good show. Thanks, buddy. We appreciate it. Job well done. You know, we told everybody earlier today, and we're telling you, and we actually said it even uh, in our way presentation, we will be going this year's classic. We're going to let everybody fish for two days. There won't be a cut after day one, um, but the final day is top ten. So, Vita, who's up here Team now? Team 47, Doug Ferguson and Kelly Dean. All right, here we go. Looks like Kelly Dean coming up to the podium. One of our finest from Toronto, fully retired and enjoying his retirement. How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Well, you know, we're doing okay. 9.9 .9 pounds. Are you enjoying it out there? No. no. It's like punishment, eh? It is. It's really brutal. You, know you wouldn't keep doing it this long if you didn't love it. Oh, exactly. <laughs> hold the fish up for a fish. For <laughs> hold the fish up for our folks, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, there you go. We're going to show you a nice largemouth bass as well. Uh, again, it looks like choice here today. Definitely the largemouth fish. So we'll get them back in the water we want. Kelly, anything you want to say before you go? Yeah, I want to thank uh, Doug, uh, Bayfield Brewing Company, Mega City Towing, and you guys. All right, buddy. Thank you very much, man. Job well done. Up next, Team 59, Mike Burns and Patrick Good. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, looking for some big fish here. Is it going to happen? And let's see what happens. All right, let's see what goes down here. Is it uh, big enough? Absolutely not. All right, so you know what? It's going to be hard. I smell garlic here, man. Did you get garlic on yourself? 
<laughs> You'd think so. 1405. <laughs> You know, and it's not from the Caesar, because I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you know, a lot of guys use garlic. That's one of my biggest things. Back in the day, hold the fish up for our folks. Back in the day, we used to use garlic spray um, that they no longer sell, but um, we all used to use it. Do you guys use any kind of dip for your stuff? None of that stuff? Really? Huh. Hmm. So it's all about visual. Visuality. All right, buddy. Who do you want to thank before you go? Uh, I'd like to thank my family for coming out, uh, my partner Patrick, and you guys for putting on a good show, and Mega Jigs and SCM Outdoors. Well, you know what? You can buy Mega Jigs at the Spring Fishing and Boat Show. <laughs> I hate to keep saying that, but they're all there. Brandon does do a good job, and uh, it's a great show, and we got some great people, and that's something you should be happy about. It's still a good, very special day for the day, and thank you. Let's give a big round of applause. Away they go. Job well done. Here we go. We're keeping this going, Team 75, William Lang and Tyler McClure. All right, let's see what goes down. Are these guys, look, he's coming up here. He's all happy. He's all excited. That looks like a good bag of fish. You got to be happy with that? Yeah, we had a good day. We got lots, but probably ain't going to make it. Well, you know what? Let's see what happens. 13 pay spots, 14.55. You know or no? I, I, you know what? I haven't seen a lot of 14-pound bags, so you never, ever know. Ah, it's pretty. We did our best. We had fun. Figuring hopefully come out tomorrow maybe. Hopefully you're making up me tomorrow, just reinvesting. You come up. Exactly, yeah. Reinvest. Let it roll. Hold the fish up for our cameras. Let's give these guys a big round of applause. You know, I'll tell you, I feel good when I see guys coming up here and they got a smile on their face. And uh, I feel like, hey, you know what? They've enjoyed themselves. And with the CSFL, uh, we start the day right. We actually start the day off with a great blast off formation. All the guys are in sequence. We ensure all safety matters are proposed and gone forward. These guys obviously target a mixed bag of fish. And in coming in, the professionality that actually starts from our anglers and that's what i like to say i really believe we got the best anglers out there so um is there anybody you want to thank before you go i just want to thank you for the uh, good day friggin yeah that's about it thanks uh to you guys and uh my partner tyler all right buddy thank you tomorrow hopefully we're gonna get you some money you'll be back with us again tomorrow and uh let's go who's up Team here 42 next? ross bartolo and tim smith all right, Tim Smith coming to the podium. Bartolo on the wa on the boat. We need big fish. <laughs> What'd you say? We didn't want to finish uh, completely last, so we weighed her in. Okay, so you know what? That's worth points, bro. You know what? I'll tell you right now, the minimal points here today, depending on who weighs in and who doesn't, is 120 points, right? So it could get into the classic. That's right, and we're gonna be fishing tomorrow too. So I, ho I hope that you guys make the classic, and this counts for towards that. I hope so too. That's why we're up here. Teaches a lot of guys a good lesson. Hold a fish up for our folks, and uh, we'll do. You know, if you're gonna weigh in one fish, you're gonna want to respect that fish, and we're gonna do it right now in front of you. Let's give this guy a big round of applause. That's what fish coming in. <laughs> hey, hey, you me measure it? Yeah, he already measured it on the side. So, you know what? Thank you very much, buddy. Grab this, and uh, hopefully tomorrow's gonna be your day. Um, it's all about that. So. Team One at a time. Team number 50, Sam Listro and Mario Campisi. Mario Campisi coming up to the podium. Let's see what goes down fishing with Sammy Listro, the legend when it comes to jig fishing, Mr. Yeah. Jig himself. How are you, Mayor? Good over yourself. It's your uncle, right? Yep. Yeah, that's my Tomorrow, he's kind of a threat. Everybody thinks, you know, Scugogs, Listro. 11.55. He knows the lake real well, so I wouldn't be Are you fishing with him tomorrow? No, I'm not fishing with him. Who are you fishing with tomorrow? Uh, I don't know, actually. Oh you, oh, you see, you should be fishing with him. No, no, tomorrow I'm taking the day off. You're just going to relax, sit at home. Yeah. You're going to watch us on the live at camp tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be there watching. I hope so, man. Hold up a fish for our folks and for all the folks out there. You know, we appreciate you all tuning in and watching us. Uh, it means a lot to us and all our sponsors that, uh, you know, that you do that. So let's give you guys a big round of applause. There you go. Job well done. Let's get these fish right back where they belong. And uh, Mario, job well done. Here you go, buddy. Anybody want to thank for you go? Uh, thank you for throwing a great event. And I just want to say thanks to Sam for taking me out today. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Job well done. All right, keep them coming. I think we're nearing Team the 63, end. Team 63, Joe Novoli and uh, Michael Opiziano. I'm going to measure your fish now. <laughs> then what happens, eh? Hey, you may have to. <laughs> you have to. But if that guy behind you, we got like fish hawk back here. And uh, this guy, look at him. Do you see this? Do you see how this, look at that. He's measuring a fish right there. Oh. As we talk, he's measuring a fish. Nine thirty-five. Does he measure? <laughs> Does he measure? Yeah, he She's good. You see that? So did he measure all your fish? Did he actually pull one of your fish out of your bag and measure it? Mm, I don't think so. 
Oh, I think we should put the bag back too. Hold on, Chef Porter, folks. Let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some fun with these guys. And uh, I'll tell you, it's uh, 80 boats is what we had here this afternoon. And it was a tough fish. And it's a tough fish when you're out there because you got a lot of guys around you. And sometimes some of those places that you may have had a big secret held uh, may be manipulated by another angler just a few seconds before you. So you want to make sure you got the right power when you're underwater. And you want to make sure you're going to get to that spot. Who do you want to thank? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There you go. You guys, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, brother. And we want to thank all our sponsors. Point one. Definitely thank Mercury Marine and Lund Boats and our newest sponsors. We want to thank Abu Garcia and uh, uh, Berkeley. Go ahead, Dina. Team 48, Paul Crisco and Brian Geiger. All right. How are you feeling, bro? Feeling good. All right. These guys have uh, done some pretty good in the past. Is it going to be enough? Geiger Tech, do you have it to take it over the top? No. You got big fish in there? No. You're fishing with Paul Crisco. Team Gun, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. It's it happened. Ten Tough seventy. Today. I hear you're actually donating one of your uh, one of your fish mounts for the uh, classic this year. Is that true? Maybe we'll see. All right, so we'll have to figure out what we're gonna make that as a prize at the classic. Because if you don't have one of these things right now, they're probably one of the biggest raves, and uh, guys are putting these brackets on their boats. And he's customizing even the most customized one he has. Hold it up and show everybody some nice fish. And uh, one of our supporters, the. Top Gun Marina and uh, Geiger Tech. So there you go. Largemouth Bass. Give a big round of applause. Job well done. And uh, we got a team that might need some service in the back. So if you want to let Paul know that. And thank you. Anybody want to thank before you go? I just want to thank you for putting on a tournament. And Paul for fishing with me. All right. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Keep them coming. Team number 55, Greg Ostrowski and Adam Ostrowski. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. Come on up here. I'm looking at all these bags coming up here. And they all look good. But not quite 20 pounds. Definitely not 20 pounds. You know, and, and that's not putting you on a spot, but, you know, it's one of those things that you will never, ever forget when that happens. Today's and weight, when it does happen, do you not want it to happen on scales? I thought you were going to say one bag I'll never, ever know. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping to get to I'm, by, I'm thinking you're going to get. I think every angler that fishes has that day, and I think every dog has his day, right? And the thing is, is, you know, when that day comes, man, you want to make sure they are on registered scales because it makes a big difference, right? It definitely does. Yeah. Hold the fish up for our folks, right? Let's give this young man a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Very proud, good bag of fish, largemouth bass, all green, all healthy, going back to where they belong. And there you go. Pow. There you go. Big round. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. All right. Maybe tomorrow is going to be your day. You never know. So <laughs> who do you want to thank, buddy? Uh, thank you guys. And, uh, yeah, you guys. Thanks, boy. I appreciate it, man. All right, keep them coming. Team 64, Mario Palermo and Dylan Vorich. All right, boy, how you doing, buddy? Not bad, man, but not good at all compared to everybody else today. Well, you know what? It is what it is. It's almost 10 pounds of fish. We've had a lot of those bags come in. And, uh, you know, one smart thing you are doing is having a hat that protects the back. The stuff that keeps you cooler out there. I thought it was going to be more sunny today. It's overcast and just ruined everything, kind of. Were you going? Was so. What are you saying? Would that would have been a large mouth day for you, and you probably would have been targeting docks and stuff like that. Yeah, if it was hotter, we'd gone for largies a lot more. We went for small mouth, and it just didn't really work out a lot. Well, that's a good. That's a good thought. So, you know, nobody actually talked about the overcast today, and that is actually something that could have made a big difference for some folks. Hold the fish up for our folks, and let's give them a big round of applause again, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, you know, overcast does make a difference, right, Scotty? Right, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> is he sleeping in that chair? <laughs> All right, he's pretty, he's pretty comfortable. Who do you want to thank before you go? Uh, I want to thank you guys, my partner, Mario, and I want to give a shout-out to my friend, Joe. He couldn't make it today. Joe, I know you want to be here, but next time, buddy. Next, next time. time. Maybe tomorrow on School Dogs. So yeah. thank you very much. Job well done. And away he goes, Team guys. Team 51, Bill Major and Carrie Smart. It's like punishment being here this long, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but is it worth it? Are you ever going to make $5,000 in two hours again? I'm maybe hoping so, maybe yeah. Maybe at the Classic? Hope so, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if Bill Majors has what it's cost to put it over. Carrie, how are you, buddy? Always a pleasure to see you up here. I'm fine, fine. You? you? had a good day today? I'm not bad day. Yeah. So what was the target day? Large mouth bass? Largies, yeah. Uh, did you travel far? Did you focus on Goose Bay at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was my thing, man. Goose Bay. Did you guys fish Goose Bay? Wow. Hold the fish up for folks. I should have fished today, Goose Bay. I would have challenged you guys. <laughs> that's all I can say. <laughs> My wife goes, go fish. You make more money. <laughs> all right, there you go. Wow, that's a nice fish. Yeah, not bad at all. Very nice fish. How much for that one? You call the weight. 
Just under four? All right, hold him in there. That's that's Too bean. Long. I'm saying over four. Put him in there. How much over four? I don't know, but I'm saying over four. This is going to get me coffee again. <laughs> four, two, five. You called it right on the money. Look at that. <laughs> you must have pre-weighed him. No. No. Oh, you're, you're, you're getting good. That four, two, five called it right on the money. You own him a coffee. That's all I can tell you. So that's a good fish. Who do you want to thank, buddy? My partner, Bill. But I want to thank both you guys. Thanks, Gary. Job well good. And thanks, Billy. All right, keep them coming. Team 66, Jim Lilly and Paul Noble. All right, Noble and Lilly coming up here also with a nice bag of fish. It looks like, you know, 12 pounds is very achievable here this afternoon today. And uh, it's just getting 20 pounds is kind of a little bit over the top. And that's not something that comes, you know, every day for anybody. And uh, it's, uh, it's a special bag. And it's that day, you know. You want to win it when there's 80 boats because you want to win over $5,000 because you want it to be worth the day, and you want to do that again at the Classic. I know you do. So, all right, so what do you think? Uh, it was We had our fish by 9.30, and then after that, it slowed right down. So It takes a lot out of you. You know, you get your fish, and all of a sudden, you're not catching, and you got to keep going and going and going. I'm beat. Just ready, just ready to hit the sack. Yeah, pretty much. 11 well, pounds all right, even. Hold the fish up for folks, and let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep the deal going. We must be close to entering the near, and hopefully we're going to see a big fish coming in. I think we are pretty much at the near end. And uh, who do you want to thank before you go, buddy? I want to thank my partner, Jim, for bringing me out with him. Well, thank you, Jim. We appreciate you bringing him out. So thank you very much. Hope to see you again, right? Yep. Okay, tomorrow, yes, on Scugog. So tomorrow, Whew, guys, how you feeling, buddy? Like, honestly, I think there is only five bags left. Are you feeling pretty excited right now? Very. So this is the moment because there are guys that will not come up early because they don't want to weigh in and sit up here for the time that you guys sat up here. So there might be a big bag coming in. Have you heard of anything? A big bag is 20 pounds, not 23. That's right. Ooh, yeah. Those might be fighting words. <laughs> 23 is a huge bag. <laughs> you know, you know, but you know it. You know it is a big bag, right? And, and you know what? That's good. That's not, I'm not, that's not being cocky that's being <laughs> solid that is being true that is a big bet you know what it would be the worst thing you know because if i came with a 23 pound bag and somebody beat me i'd be pretty upset uh very upset okay was that team thunder? 49 mike braford and what dave mcdonald that's somebody's stereo are you serious <laughs> wow all right let's see what happens dave you're the guy that's gonna do it let's see if we're gonna take this guy off his horse we are now challenging you every single team <laughs> but you had fun right oh we had a great day yeah today's weight 1305 so cast we were there a week ago brother all kinds of new stuff you were down there you put out all kinds of new stuff what did you put out that's new uh a lot of stuff we've got uh the prop series which was fortunate enough to win uh, best of show for the soft lure so that was pretty cool um, and then there's a lot of other things that we launched, like the Dragonfly Compact Frog. We launched like four new product lines while we are there this year. Wow, that's huge. It is huge. It's a lot of work, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of excitement. Now I get to come back and uh, you know play with some of the lures and uh, relax a little bit. Well, you know what? That's cool. Now, is there a website folks can go into to see maybe some of the new stuff and uh, you know maybe pull you aside? I don't know if you got stuff you can show them in your boat or not. Yeah, I have all the new stuff with me, and uh, the website's lunkerhunt.com, and uh, yeah. All right, buddy. Well, I'm going to wish you all the best. Thank Good luck. You. you hold the fish up for our folks, and uh, before you uh, say goodbye, let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we hear thunder, but it's actually a stereo <laughs> out there. That's pretty loud stereo. Somebody's eardrums must be pounding to that. All right, let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That's Dave McDonald's winging in his fish of the day, his catch. And uh, they very solid. And he's got some stuff for you guys all want to go see it. It's got his boat. Uh, he'll be around kicking around later. Thank Thanks, Dave. I appreciate all the support. And uh, we are nearing the end. We got TBF coming up next. Team Big Fish. Last week, Team 78, Paul Arsenault and Ed Sannon. Last week, 6.30 pound, 3.5 or 3.0? 6.30. 6.30. So what's Gooch's fish today? Six, Gooch beat you by point zero five. Wicked! I hear there's a bigger one out there too so far this year, but we were glad to get them. It really? Just today. Yeah. Well, just tomorrow, right? You guys did it on day two last year, right? I yeah. said they go. You guys are big fish, guys. You haven't let me down. Last week you brought in a fish of six point three zero, and on Rice Lake it was largemouth. It was kick ass day, and uh, you had a second fish to follow up with that, which was over five as well too. Like, how do, you, how do you beat that? You had, like, over 12 pounds for two fish. Yeah, it was a great uh, day for us. It happens, like you said, every once in a while, and everybody gets their turn. Good luck, guys. All the best to you. 
We did it last week, man. Okay, hold the fish up for folks. Let's give a big round of applause. Last year, last week's uh, Rice Lake champions, again, bringing in a huge bag of largemouth. And uh, here we are today sitting on a huge bag of largemouth to our side. Proud of you guys. All right, come on. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. We're going to get these guys back where they belong. And is there anything you want to say before you go? I'd like to thank everyone at CSFL and Snug Harbor for putting up with our crowd today. Thanks a lot, folks, and have a good one. Right, Snug Harbor is a phenomenal facility. Thank you very much, and job well done. Congrats. Guys, from one large mall team to another. Team 41, Wayne <laughs> Misselbrook and Dave Kennedy. <laughs> okay, man, you got to be scared here, man. I'm hiding this bag. I'm hiding this bag. Now, this is the bag that I beat. <gasps> Boom! Oh, my God. This is going to be one of those bags. What are we going to do here today, folks? <sighs> Still a very respectable bag, buddy. Uh, Andy, 16, how would you be scared 65. with 23 pounds unless you're on Simcoe, right? You know what? It's <laughs> true. You know what? How many locks is it between here and so? But then again, there were large mouths, so definitely not Simcoe fish. So, you know, large, small mouth was your target here today. You just kind of stuck to that? We stuck. We did both. Um, we, we stuck to the small mouth first thing this morning and then went large mouth later. And uh, we didn't have anything big going. We got a couple of nice ones. Uh, about a four smallie and maybe a four and a half largey. Yeah. Hold on for our folks, and uh, let's get these fish back in the water. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Wayne Misselbrook right here in front of you. He's got a huge largemouth bass as well, too. And uh, I'll tell you right now, and a very nice smallmouth. Let's give these guys a big round of applause. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, two beautiful fish. You all see that? That is incredible. Wayne, step back three inches. Three, and I'll look in the camera right there under the speaker. And there you go. They're all looking at you, thousands of people. All right, so... Did they come? You want to weigh that largemouth in? Yeah, I'll weigh it. All right, let's weigh him in. Let's see what he comes in at. All right, looking for a big bag of fish and a big largemouth. 6.35 is hard to beat. There's no question about it. Very respectable fish. But that's a five and a half. That's a five plus pound fish. That's something you have to be very proud of. Yeah, Dave got that one um, later in the day uh, under a weed mat. Nice fish. All right, so was, um, you know, I guess the smallmouth buckets. Um, came off the similar type style stuff, or what did you do to differentiate a small mouth spot and a large mouth spot? No, we were fishing rock weed uh, for the smallies, and then we went down shallow for the largies. So, what would be shallow for you guys when we're talking? Uh, like um, talking to these guys, they're saying anywhere between two feet to ten feet uh, for the large mouth. Yeah, we'd actually go two feet or even less sometimes. Yeah. Wow. All right, but is there anything you want to share with us? Tomorrow is going to be a big day. I'm going to ask you a quick question because I know you've done very well there, and I'm not jinxing you. Do you think it's going to be a small mouth day tomorrow, or do you think large mouth are going to do it again tomorrow? It's already two in a row right now. Well, obviously the large mouth are there, but the small mouth are coming on strong. I think there are going to be a lot of guys targeting them, so it may be a small mouth bag just due to the sheer number of people fishing for them. All right, buddy, who do you want to thank? I want to thank you guys. We had a lot of fun. My partner, Dave, my wife for putting up with this all summer, and the gang at Red Wing Tackle and Save the Tooth Line. All right, buddy. Thank you very much. Job well done. All right, we are definitely down to our last two contestants. Is this it? We're done after this, guys? All right. Team our 69, Eddie Williams and Nelson Jacobs. All right, Jacobs and Williams coming up to the podium. Do they got it? Do they got it? Do they got it? Absolutely not, right? It's a big and it's a respectable bag, but that's a good bag, too. We're looking at a lot of bags around that 12-pound mark today. And 11, um, 10. Smallmouth, largemouth, looks like smallmouth from here. Yeah, smallmouth. Yeah. You've been thinking largemouth maybe at any point. Did you target largemouth or not really? Yeah, just looking for a mixed bag, uh, rockweed. All right, hold the fish up for our folks, and uh, let's give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. He's going to show you some nice, it uh, looks like a mixed bag, large mouth and small mouth. Still, again, respectable bag of three pounds. We got one last team. Did you guys sandbag it? That's what we need to ask ourselves. This is, do you know who this is? You need to be scared of these guys because dad's yeah. here. All right, buddy. Anything you want to say before you go? Anybody want to think? Thank you guys for putting on a good show. Thanks, buddy. All right, so this is their father, George Snyder, used to fish with Mr. Clatt. Those guys have won a lot of tournaments. This is well-bred blood right here. I'm telling you right now. If there's anybody here, uh, and oh, did I forget to mention that their father owns a resort here on this body of water? Oh, did I also forget to mention that they actually held themselves to the very end to compete against you guys to bring up a bag that's going to challenge 23 point. Zero five pound bag. Am I putting you on the spot, son? I love you. Eh? You know that, right? I'm not doing it on purpose. I just want to make these guys cry a little bit. All right, come on up here. Team you guys can start. Team 57, Matt Schneider and Andrew Buzzman. That is a very respectable bag. So before we make it official, I just want to say, put that here on the sideline right here. Put them in here. Don't weigh them in yet. All right, buddy. 
I'm going to say you had a good day, right? Oh, yeah, it was a good day today. It's fun, right? It was fun. So you grew up on this body of water, right? Yeah. So now knowing everything you know, would you have done something different today? Uh, probably would have gone for the smallmouth earlier in the day. We had our limit of largemouth by probably about 9 o'clock. And then we went for the smallmouth and called every largemouth, but kind of ran out of time in the end. All right, buddy. Okay, so is there anybody you want to thank? We're going to weigh your fish, and then you take a picture, but then I'm going to kind of do some stuff up here. So, Yeah, I'd like to thank my dad for uh, letting us take the boat out today and giving me the day off work. Uh, I'd like to thank my cousin for coming up from Toronto for uh, to fish the tournament with me. And uh, I'd like to thank you guys for putting on a great show. All right, thank you. And Cuz, what do you want to say? I don't know. I had a great time. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks to you guys, cousin, for letting me fish with them. Yeah, it was a great day. All right, guys, let's weigh these fish in as a team. Ladies and gentlemen, are we going to take over the lead? This is our next. This is our final team. Are you guys ready? All right. They're going to come in with a respectable bag of 15 pounds. Vita, make that 15 official. 15 pounds even. And here's our winner's to our left. Let's give a big round of applause. Over $5,000 is what they're going to be walking out of here with. Congratulations, guys. I'm very proud of you guys. Like, you wouldn't believe. I'm so happy. And I'm telling you, we'll have them all back up here. We'll give everybody their money. want to thank everybody. These guys are going to hold a couple of fish for you. Folks, once again, it won't take long. We'll get everybody up here. We'll give them a bunch of money. And hopefully, they're going to be buying some ice cream for the kids tonight on the way home. So <laughs> let's give top five Vita real quick. Unofficially, in first place, Chris Little, Josh Burke with 2305, Dan Risorto, Frank Perciuseppi with 1970. In third place, Gary Miller with 1815. In fourth place, Mike Williams, Dwayne Jacobs with 17 pounds. And in fifth, Chris Cole, Scott Holmes, 1685. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and all the folks that just tuned in, we want to thank you all for coming out and uh, tuning in with us tomorrow. We're going to be on Lake Scugog. A special thank you to all our sponsors. It's, uh, it's companies like Mercury, Lund Boats, uh, Spring Fishing and Boat Show, which is ours, but, again, they do a lot in helping us go forward, and that's because of the support of all the people that come down. Um, we want to thank Hummingbird, Minn Kota, our newest sponsors, Berkeley. It really, truly helps catch you more fish, and if you're not using it, it's fantastic. We also want to thank our newest rod sponsor, Abu Garcia, Abu Reels, and Moorings Marine. I'll tell you, it's a phenomenal facility. If you're looking for a slip and you're tuning in or if you're looking for to get on uh, Sturgeon Lake, it's a great pl place to get launch from. Uh, it's a great place, a facility, lots of parking, and uh, you're on the lake launching right here. Uh, if you, for guys that are all pre-fishing, you know what? You're launching right into Goose Bay. Um, you're 20 minutes from Bob Cajun and probably about 25 minutes from Feminine Falls. So we just want to thank all our sponsors because it's companies like Lund Boats and Mercury Marine that have been supporting us for many years that have kept us going and are here. And uh, not just us, but have kept our anglers number one on the water. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, without your support, we don't exist. So thank you very much. And we're hoping to see you tomorrow in Port Perry Marina. And uh, we're hoping to see the 80 boats and we're hoping to see some big tails. But we're also hoping to see some big fish. So thank you very much for coming out.